All right, good, uh, good evening, everyone, and welcome along to the Tassie Summer Slam. That's right, you, we, we're calling it now the Tassie Summer Slam here from the Royal Basketball Stadium. Roll rigs. Jacob, what? With, hello. With you as well, too. Hello. Yes, hello, Jacob. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. We've, I'm backing up from a big couple of days of live streaming in Launceston, and, of course, the Basketball road show continues here through the Chargers TV channel as we come to you from the Rain Basketball Stadium where, as I mentioned, it's the Tassie Summer Slam. And this is and, and a massive thank you to Total Denture Care Clinics for coming on and sponsoring the live stream. We will do the uh, scripts readout uh, very shortly or a little bit later on in the broadcast. But as, as I mentioned, myself and JB have been in Launceston. We just covered State League. We're Hobo Phoenix won the uh, State League uh, Championship. They defeated Glenorchy yesterday in what was a, a thriller of a game to really come down to the final second, uh, final seconds of the gl game. Glenorchy had two chances to win it, Jacob. First one missed, and then they had another opportunity to um, put into overtime, but that unfortunately missed, and Hobart were able to get a three-point win in what was probably one of the games of the State League uh, this season. So back here, so yeah, as I say, the road show continues and we are here at Lorraine backing up for another day. The basketball never stops. And never. Uh, how my voice is surviving, I'll never know. But um, So this game here, Jacob, that we've got again. So we saw the... Um, now, I'll, I'll make sure I get the... I'll get the now, I've got to get the teams right. So one is Team Swisher, I'm pretty sure. Swisher and the other one is Real, Real Fit, I'm very sure. Let me... Let me get up. And of course, you can follow. Now, of course, two folks, you can follow the um, Tassie, uh, Slam, Tassie Summer Slam uh, by their social media as well, too. They do have an Instagram page up as well, too. I gave it a follow the other day, and you can see some nice photos and, and whatnot. They've already got some good content up already there, uh, there Jacob, as you yeah. can see. Yeah, so, so credit to Josh Yule and his team for really making this a, a, the real deal now. And uh, uh, just quickly, while the teams are just getting ready, read out the read out the mission statement. And they're saying here in their mission statement is to, to provide a platform for all former, current and prospective NBL1 players to compete and grow during the spring slash summer season. And they also go on to mention here, why are we here? Uh, growing the basketball community connections, uh, purposeful off-season engagement, uh, igniting player and community excitement, enhancing player recognition, empowering exposure for rising talent, progressing university basketball, retaining positive role models and players, referee development, uh, leveraging social media opportunities for Tasmanian basketball community connection and experience. So that's a pretty good mission statement and why they're here. And uh, great to see the tummy, Tassie Summer Slam. Now, of course, we're, we're calling it now. And uh, as we say, we've got their logo on the uh, on the screen as well too. That pops up every five seconds, as you can see there now. And on our monitor, we can see that as well. So... Um, So this should be this should, so this should be an exciting matchup. Now I was trying to get the that's what I was trying to get Jacob the fixture. Now let me go back to the page. Let's have a look here. Hang on, is it? Oh, there, there you go. You see, you're in the background there on their oh, story. Yeah, yeah, there you are, mate. You might <laughs> see Ronald, JB, Jacob. Yeah, yeah. see, you're part of our media team, and right and rightfully so as well too. So and of course tonight's matchups are real fit. Take it on Team Swisher. So I got that correct. <laughs> which is good, good for the memory. And then Utah's taking on the Sweaty Betties at 8 o'clock. Uh, yes, come and watch by the Chargers TV live stream here. Of course, JB will be here a little bit later on throughout the evening. He's still finishing up his work. Referees for this evening, Jordan Peel, who's coming off for what we're... He had a chance to actually win it, to put into overtime yesterday, and unfortunately shot this, hit the back iron of the ring and went out. And Carl Browning... Uh, who is back for another week of officiating. Good to see. Let's see who here. So we've got Team Swisher with Carla Steinel, Chloe Broomhall, uh, Harris, uh, and I'm just trying to see there, Jazz Ashlyn and Ellie Ferguson. And then Real Fit have Murray Greenwood chopping 
Waller and Davey. And I'll mention a couple a newcomer to the team as well too, a little bit later on when she comes on court. Chopping with it now, down low to Greenwood we go. <laughs> Davey lost the handle, able to regain though. Good pressure by Ashland here as we get our women's competition underway. Round number three here from Moraine as Broomhall now takes it into Ashland. Ashland goes up strong, draws a foul, and she goes to the line for one. Great job there, and that's a good start there for Team Swisher. And we'll update the scoreboard as well too. So Jacob on the camera, I'll be multitasking between commentary and scoring here as Ashland gets that one to go down. So Swisher, three sipped to get us underway here in the Tassie Summer Slam. Great to have your company with us by the Chargers Turbo YouTube channel and thank you to Total Dental Care Clinics as chopping from deep. Well, that missed everything. Then Walla able to get the rebound now. Walla looking for a wraparound and found Murray. David a short quarter and gets that one to go. So lovely work there. As we'll try and make a see here. Let's see. Hang on. Oh, now I'm having some small technical issues here. Bear with us, folks. Might need to get Jacob to drag that up again in a second. Yep, while well, it's on a still there, Jacob, just drag that up as Broomall gets a number two to go. Thank you, sir. Five, and we'll put the real fits on two here as Greenwood nearly made me change it to four, but to no avail there. So Stein will up the floor, try to go to Ferguson. I don't think Ferguson was ready for that one, Jacob. No, it's not good. Well, I mean, not, not good in a degree. Of she was just probably a, a, a second or two off, so yeah. to speak. So just to, <laughs> just to make sure we're not too harsh no, on not, the players. I'm not saying she's not good. I'm saying it's not good that she wasn't ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. We get what you mean. Don't worry. Very good. Of course, uh, Jacob is still learning the, the trade here <laughs> in sports commentary as Greenwood goes up and gets the two to go. I tell you what, I might have to come to Jacob for um, uh, acting lessons at some stage as well too, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Just so we can have the trade off there, Jacob. Meanwhile, Ashland down low. Good pressure by Murray. Now Ferguson putting it to the floor. Goes up strong. Good defence by Murray and a jump ball has been forced. So the position arrow goes back to uh, Team Swisher. Here. Nice little crowd in attendance on for Monday night here. And it's Harris now for a long two. And well that didn't that missed unfortunately. Harris back to Ashland. Ashland want to go base. Oh nice crossover. And the oh nearly got the finish. Goes up strong again. Couldn't get that to go. Broomhall does a good job there. Now back to Harris here. Harris wanting an on-ball now. Broomhall provides it. Now kick out to uh, Ashland once again. Ashland getting a little bit stuck. Goes up strong. That'll be a shot clock violation. And good as Ashland saying she got a hit. Referees didn't see it that way. But I thought good defense overall there. So, of course, we've got our effects mic as well too. We didn't provide that over the weekend, folks. We... Because we were in the crowd, we were just a bit afraid of a few spectators. As uh, Waller tried to get that one up, couldn't get it to go. And yes, now we took the precautions of not having the effects mic on, but we will have it on tonight. We are upstairs in the bar where usually no one comes up and annoys us, which is a good thing. Stein will kick out pass here. Ashland from deep. Yes. Nice shot there by Jazz Ashland and Team Swisher uh, are now up by four here. Murray putting on some moves. Oh, pretty pass in the Greenwood. Sensational play. End-to-end -end stuff here. Great three by Ashland down one end and then really good cut and good pass by Murray to Greenwood on the finish. Great work by both teams. And that's what a Tassie Summer Slam is all about, folks. Just good basketball play and that's what we're seeing right now. Steindl adds that as well for us as well too. Good shot there. Of course, the uh, check jump is getting the win on Saturday night in Cairns in what was a thriller. We'll come to that a little bit. We'll come to that right now as Waller will go to line for two. Of course, um, Steiner will be very happy with, with her husband, Clint. And, of course, Jack McVeigh hitting the game win on the buzzer in overtime.
forward to Check Jumpers to win that one by three in the end. A massive win for the Check Jumpers as they go into the FIBA break. Wallet missed the first. Good to see some of the boys here. Jack Howlett in the building. Of course, he played for Hobart yesterday along with Luke Moore. They, again, both part of that State League winning championship team of Hobart. And um, Jack, Clay, Jack asking about where the medals were. I've been told that due to budget constraints, the medals were not on order. Ashland goes up. Nonetheless, they still won a um, State League title and the Tim Leadham Shield. So I think that's more than enough one would say. That is for sure. Chopping now, putting it to the floor. Chopping, kick out to Greenwood. Greenwood working away inside. Good work by Harris. Just a good read and Greenwood just got herself into a little bit of trouble there and um, just forced a uh, good, work, good work by the real fits to really just force that jump ball. So Murray to restart. We'll get some special comments from Jacob in a minute as well too. As uh, <laughs> Yes, no, we'll get him ready to go as Davey knocks that one down. And what have we got? Score line. We've got nine. Okay. So, oh, I missed Greenwood's free throw. Uh, Waller's free throw. My apologies. So, 9-10 our score line here. Point in the margin. Steindl getting triple team here. Foul on the play. It's been close already, Jacob. Yeah. Like the first five minutes or so. It's been a close ball game right now. Teams trading buckets each, each end of the floor. Yeah. Yeah, that's why he's one of the best special comment, comment people in, <laughs> in the league, folks. Geez, you're giving me a reference to Major League. If you've seen that movie, I'm telling you, a good play there is uh, Team Squisher go up by 12. Um, I need to come. I need to explain that reference if you haven't seen Major League, which is a, which is a good comic baseball movie, and they have a play-by-play -play caller and the most quietest special comments <laughs> man you will ever get, or colour commentator, as I would say. Ball goes out of bounds. And that will come back to um, team, uh, team Swish. No, Real Fit, sorry. As uh, Emma Swain comes in for Ellie Ferguson. Yes, the... Um, it was all around the Cleveland Indians and winning a, and winning a uh, championship in the, uh, major, in the major, major League Baseball. Jacob. No. I'll have to find, I'll find your clip and I'll send it to you. And I'll, you of the movie. Second, of the actual reference I'm talking about. Meanwhile, that's a shot clock violation. So good work by Team Swisher as, uh, as they get it. I've, just, oh, the, 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 I've got the whole theme now in my head. Like the, the, <laughs> and then the line is right there. It just won't come out of the won't come out of my mouth at the moment, but I'll I'll find that clip. It uh, I'll find that clip in between the games, and I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> All right. Yeah. No, he, no, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good reference. <laughs> Meanwhile, Steindl goes up, couldn't get that turnaround show to go. Waller does a good job of reeling that one in. Now Waller off and running. Good pass in the Greenwood. Greenwood going up strong and draws the foul. She goes to line for two. I believe they will be on. Uh, yes, they will be on Swain. No, Ashland, I believe so. There you go. So Greenwood at the line here for two. Of course, as we mentioned, Chosey, uh, uh, a prominent player uh, throughout her career, has represented state and has represented the Chargers. Uh, now a teacher by trade. I just can't remember which school she uh, teaches out of. Um, anyway, of course, text line's always open, folks. Feel free to uh, send, us a, send us a message and let us know if you know where Chosey teaches. We'll give that school a shout-out. We'll give a shout-out to, um, to the Bayview School as well too with Jacob and unfortunately we don't have the lads here doing stats here tonight. So oh, no. um, yeah, usually we have the lads here, but they'll oh, they'll probably be here Friday night I reckon. Um, they must be unavailable tonight. We're not sure why, Jacob, but yeah. Well, Did no. you hear anything? I didn't hear anything. No. Okay, no worries. All right, Steindl tried to dump that down the green and couldn't get it go. Green with an interesting kind of hair dye style there. I'm, I'm sure she's died that a little bit blue. Meanwhile, turnover. And ball went out of bounds as Harris got double teamed there by Chopping and Murray. So play restarts here. Waller now. Oh, good, oh, good idea, but Broomhall just that one step ahead on the read. That was some really good work. Now Broomhall trying to slow this one down. Steinl going to work. Steinl going up. Can't get that two to go. Good tap away by Greenwood. Now ball up the floor here with Murray. 
So Murray now, step back three is well done, missed everything. Greenwood gets the most easiest offensive rebound you can get in a game. And gets the two to go down. And timeout has been called. And we'll just update we'll just update the scores for you. Again, apologies for the slowness on that. So timeout here where it's 13 playing 12. Team Swisher up by a point. And um, well, looks like Holly Nash is taking the coaching duties here tonight. Of course, Adrian Gusty uh, unavailable. So Holly Nash taking it over. And of course, Matthew Bennell. Um, coaching team real fit so just to come back to this major league reference and the, the special comments guy so he only he, he just um there's a line in the in the in the thing and he go uh, he says one word or no word and then the the main character the one the main character harry doyle of course which is bob uka one of the one of the famous baseball callers um, for, I believe it was Milwaukee, Milwaukee in the Major League. Um, come up with this line, and it's not, and it's, <laughs> it's right at the top of my forehead. It's just not wanting to process, Jacob, but I'll... Um, you got this, you can remember. He's not the best colour man in... Oh, some, he's, he's like... Yeah, something, yeah, something about colour man in the, in the league. So I've kind of half got the line. I need to watch a clip to... So we'll get, we'll get to that. That, 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 that. That's what you reminded me of. But in a good way. Like, he, he was actually a good character. It's like, in, in, in one of those games, he actually had the commentator, a, a, a player, he goes, foul ball, caught. And that's, how he, and that's how he did his work. So, play continues on here. As the boy... Ah, right. Okay, no worries. Uh, the, boss, the boss has chimed in, Jacob, so... We'll get to these messages in a minute as Murray goes up. Couldn't get that to go, so that camera work will have to be spot on for the boys doing the stats by remote tonight. That's what I've been told. Yeah, missing the boys in, in, in venue tonight, but glad to see they're still doing the work. Steinel from deep. Couldn't get that to go. I thought that was from nearly from my state bank arena, nearly, here in the Tassie Summer Slam. As chopping now. Step back two is, well, that's our first wedgie of the night and for the season in the Tassie Summer Slam. So we'll need a ball to uh, dislodge. Well, Cal Browning tries his first attempt and can't get there while well, he's trying that. The boss did chime in, Jacob, and I'm, I'm telling you, uh, Josie is a, teaches down at Lordale Primary. So that's where it was. So thank you for that. Yes, Lordale Primary, a nice school down there. Home of the Green Deer's Basketball Club as well too. They just put up some new rings down there as well, thanks to your electrical services as well too. Um, to my understanding, they were the ones that installed it. So great to see. And yes, the, the boys are taking uh, the, the taking down stats remotely tonight and home watching by the live stream. So there you go. Shout out to the lads. Glad you're tuning in. Meanwhile, Ferguson went up. She got rejected by Murray. We'll count that as a block, fellas. As uh, Murray gets her own two. She started to play and then finished it as well. And they're up to 15 now. Well, I've got 15, 12. Okay, we'll come back to that. Meanwhile, good pressure there. But ball went out of bounds. So we've got 12 somewhere. Bear with us here, folks. Uh, just trying to make sure we get the right scores for the right teams right now. We'll keep it at, we'll keep it 15-13, and we'll just see who scores, and we'll make those adjustments as we go along. Murray into Greenwood. Greenwood goes up, and a two. So it's Team Real, real Fit that are up now by, by five here. So we'll make, make Team Squish at 12. So 17-12 our score line. We'll... Team real fit, um, lead it. Lauren Faulkner into the game as well too. I've got a bit of information on her as the ball goes out of bounds. Perfect time because Lauren Faulkner was a former state player and uh, played most of her basketball in Launceston. And then of course she went to university uh, in in New South Wales. She now uh, tr she's now an actual practicing lawyer as well too. Uh, she did play for the Tornadoes once upon a time as well too in the old SCABL format. 
as well, playing alongside Lauren Mansfield and Co. And good to see Lauren back in it. She did play uh, in the old Waratah League, which is now NBL 1 East, and she used to play out at Newcastle. So she was based in Newcastle for a little while, but now back home. Of course, her brother, yeah, famously, did play for the Australian cricket team, James Faulkner, who now runs a bar down, down at Salamanca somewhere as well too. So great to see the Faulkners down here in Hobart now. And good to see Lauren playing in the Tassie Summer Slam as well. So, Murray now. Murray, kick out pass. Well, that was a bit ambitious, I thought. Sterling wasn't ready for that. And ball goes out of play. 40 seconds to go here before quarter time. And, and we'll get a bit of a script to read as well out too for, the, for, our, for our sponsor uh, tonight on the, board, on the uh, live stream, which is uh, Total, uh, Total Denture Care. Now, Broomhall working away through. Kick out pass. Ferguson for three is way off and then bodies hit the floor there and ball goes out of play. But no, as I mentioned, Lauren Faulkner, very good player back in her day. Um, and good to see her out here because he used to officiate her many, many years ago, back when I was running around in my prime as well. And uh, Lauren Silly, one of, one, of, one, one of the good players uh, around the state. But great, as we mentioned, great to see her here. Chopping from deep. In and out on that one. Steinle with the rebound. Now Harris with it here. Harris looking to go to work. Kick out now to uh, Ferguson. This time from the other corner. Not successful. And then Ashland draws a foul on the quarter time buzzer. So Ash Ashland will go to line here for two as we end the first quarter of the Tassie Summer Slam for round three of the women's competition here from the Lorraine Basketball Stadium. So, so some bottle free throws here for Team Swisher. Want to just cut this margin back. That, that was, that's a start. They get that one to go down. We'll get, we'll get our script to read ready to go as well too. To keep us keep the sponsors happy and no good there. Okay, so quarter time as we'll come back to we'll come back to the middle there, Jacob and and um, yes, yeah, round three of the women's Tassie Summer Slam proudly sponsored by Total Denture Care Clinics. A family-owned and operated practice where expertise meets excellent in, de in denture care. Visit their Kingston, Sorrell or Newtown clinics for personalised solutions to keep your... Uh, uh, sorry, I'll, I'll, read that, I'll read that part again. Um, visit their Kingston, Sorrell or Newtown clinics for personalised solutions to keep you... Uh, to keep you smiling, uh, to keep your smile. Ah, right, to keep your smile shining. Apologies, folks. I will. I'll, I will start it. <laughs> I might just start that again. So, uh, so introducing a uh, 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 spon uh, sponsor for round three for the, for the broadcast in our Tassie Summer Slam, and thanks to Total Denture Care, Total Denture Care Clinics, a family-owned and operated practice where expertise meets excellence in denture care. Visit their Kingston, Sorrell, or Newtown clinics for personalised solutions to keep your smile shining. Uh, Will Ferguson, a current men's player in the Tassie Summer Slam, uh, is currently completing his dental technician diploma through the TDC. Uh, once Will completes his dental technician training, he will go on to uh, complete his dental... Um, now, I'm, I'm just trying to read this one out. Help me out here. Help me out here, uh, Jacob. What, what would that be? Prosthesis. Pros I've got no clue. Pro prosthesis. We'll go, with, we'll go with that and we'll apologise for it if we got that wrong. Um, uh, so his dental uh, pro prosthesis um, a diploma to be able to see patients. So well done to Will and a, very, and a very big thank you to Andrew and Tristy Ferguson and Total Denture Care Clinic for sponsoring round three of the Women's Tassie Summer Slam. Meanwhile, offensive foul on the play here and that could be assessed on Jazz Ashland thanks to Total Denture Care Clinic for that one. So great job there. We'll uh, we'll plug it. We'll give them another plug at half time as well too. Like we're very valuable of our, of our sponsors as, as well. So great to see Tristy and Andrew uh, helping us out here tonight. Uh, Tristy actually on the bench doing doing the iPad. So Tristy doing it all from helping us with the sponsorship to uh, helping us on the on the uh, on the uh, scoring there. So that is fantastic to see. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, well, actually, yeah, that, that's a good idea, boss. We'll uh, we'll certainly we'll certainly do that at half time. Um, Jacob, you you can actually read the uh, you can read the script. 
uh, the boss is telling me. Yeah. Half time, you're going to read what I just read. Okay. <laughs> so, yes, and he apologises for the tongue twister. So, <laughs> yeah, some word, that's a big word, Josh, I'm telling you. Uh, meanwhile, Paul goes out of play. I think that was the last touch by Harrow. No, Murray. So, yes, I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> this will be good. Yes, oh my. <laughs> uh, this is good. Good training for you, young fella. So, um, I would say we'll try and give you as much help as we can. Great to see Jacob with us. Of course, a young, inspiring student slash actor as Wallow fouled on the play. Of course, Jacob tells me, Jacob told me pre-game about he's got a massive um, production tomorrow that he's going to be participating. Massive. I don't know if it's massive. I'm trying to talk this up. Don't talk it okay. down, Cobber. <laughs> <laughs> Is this open to the public, this show? Or stu students and parents only? Students and parents only. Okay. But we look forward to hearing about it. We'll uh, make sure next, on next week's, on next week's uh, broadcast we uh, ask you how went, Jacob. I'm very keen to hear the reviews yeah. as the free throw goes down there for Ferguson. Oh, I'm very keen on that, actually. would love to see it live, actually. That would be good. Meanwhile, <laughs> Jacob's telling me to move on. Meanwhile, <laughs> Waller puts it to the floor. She, from the elbow, couldn't get it to go. That wasn't a bad look, by the way, as well, too, folks. Ferguson coming down here now. Steindl. Steindl pulls up from the elbow. Couldn't get that to go. Good rebound by Broomhall. Again, good read and good just recognition of where that shot was going to come from. And saves it. Does a great job once again. Good pass by Steindl. Green couldn't finish it. And last touch by... Well, they say it was great. So ball goes out of play. So ball come back to Team Real Fit. Matt Bennell barking out the instructions. As Murray now puts it to the floor, Murray goes to work here, goes up on the move. Nice work by Claire Murray on that play. Really good job there. Just turned the corner nicely and able to finish on that floater. So they lead it by five here, the real fit. As Swisher will try to work their way back in it. Harris unfortunately missed that one. Greenwood now to Murray. Murray. Getting himself a little bit stuck there. Probably needs to retreat on that one. Now, extra pass, Davey for the two. Couldn't get that. Bergson gets it. As we just ticked on the... Uh, oh, we just ticked over. Just two minutes here in this second quarter. The Tassie Summer Slam as Harris from deep. Couldn't get that to go. Round three action. There's Broomhall. And Steinl. Easy as you like. Steinl knocks that one down. So, back to three R margin here. Text line is going... Sonkers here. I think uh, the boss is telling you to, to lift your game a little bit here. Lift, lift with your conversing. <laughs> Great to see the boss on, a boss on hand. And another two there. So that's how we're at to 21 here for Team Real Fit. Jacob, both teams really run the floor nicely, aren't they? This is, this is again, real nice. Yeah, this good end-to-end -end stuff. And you can see the baskets just training nicely, don't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's certainly good to see. And, and Murray hits the floor, and she gets up pretty quick. Steinl from deep in and out on that one. And then Broomall goes up. Couldn't get that to go. Chopping with the rebound. And then foul on the play. Matt Bettle probably needs to come a little bit. Uh, uh, Matt Bettle really need the halfway line. He needs to keep him in his coach's box as Faulkner will look to check in, along with um, the Swain as well too. Uh, great to see the boss is keeping an eye on us, Jacob, eh? Yeah, yeah it's great. <laughs> yes. I'm sure we'll have some words for you tomorrow at school. Do you bump into, into Mr. Yule at, at, at school? I actually don't see him that much. He's a oh. bit of a mystery. A mystery? Yeah, I'll never see him around. That's an interesting statement to put on here, Jacob. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm describing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, okay, fair enough. And meanwhile, Harris misses the free throw. <laughs> Just trying to process that. Good grief. Murray, now here's Waller from the corner. That's back iron there. Faulkner taps that one to Davey. Good work there by Lauren. As Waller now. It's off. Murray putting it to the floor. Splits for a couple. Floater. Couldn't get that to go. Steinl. Well, that was last touch by Murray. Deflected out of bounds. And substitutions here as Reda Sterling comes back into the game for uh, Reagan Davey. Of course, Reagan, a former state player herself, and 
Been around the game forever, of course, married Joel Davey, who's, um, they both went to college together, I can tell you. I even went to college with, with Reagan as well, too, so it's good to see the, the childhood kind of, you know, relationship playing out as Steinle plays that three out for us, and we're back to a two-point ball game. No, one point ball game. My apologies. Scoreboard is a bit just a bit like yesterday up in Elfin where the scoreboard was a little bit slow to update and we were going gangbusters on the scoring. Ball goes out of bounds. Meanwhile. Let's see here. Okay, no worries, boss. We were certainly telling that. <laughs> the boss has uh, again once again chimed in and said he says to tell you he's on parental leave. That might explain that why. That might explain why, yeah. Why is a man of mystery? <laughs> Meanwhile, substitutions here. Ferguson coming in for Molly Green. <laughs> I mean, surely you, if, if you did see him, surely you'd say hi to him and what and whatnot? I mean, yeah. A timeout yeah. here. This is a per perfect play on here now. Here we go. Timeout here, of course, team, team real fit leader by one. Let's just come back to that. I mean, we're not, and we're not picking. Like, the boss is, um, it's good to see the boss is on the text line to yeah, us, which no, is fantastic like, if to I, see. If I, if I saw him around, I'd say hi, but I guess yeah. he, just, he hasn't been around. Do, does, he not, does he not teach any of your clubs? Well, hang no. on. No, he, no. No, he teaches basketball. Uh, I do not play basketball. Surely this might encourage you to, you know, maybe take up the game a little bit. Or like no. go out there and shoot a basketball. What do you reckon? Uh, no. No. <laughs> what if? What if we did a school production on a basketball? Like like what Zac Efron did in that Disney movie or whatever it was, and he and we basketball and cheerleading and, and all that kind musical? of stuff. High school musical. Was that was that was that the one? I don't, think, I don't think I had anything to do with basketball, did it? Surely we could have basketball in one of your major productions major? At, at, the, at, at the school, and you could I play a lead role where you're like the. Um, I'm a basketballer. Yeah. You're the basketball. But I don't play basketball. We look. Yuli could <laughs> easily teach you some moves. Uh, and we could just say you're <laughs> just a, a gun slasher to the basket and finish at the rim type thing. Yeah, sure. I'm sure that'd be great. <laughs> Meanwhile, should we come out of timeout? Oh, good grief! Oh, that's good content for us anyway. <laughs> Faulkner to restart here. I'm, I'm wondering what Yuli will think of that, actually. Or Mr. Yule, sorry, I should say. Because, yes, at some schools, you've got to say Mr. or Miss or Mrs. At yeah. some other schools, you can actually uh, say their first name. No, I, uh, baby, we just say the last name. So you just say, you, you as the three goes down for Murray there. And they are up by four. So you would say, you know, you'd say Yule. Yeah, Yuli. Yeah. We Yuli. call him Yuli. Oh, you call him Yuli? Yeah. All right. Stein all for the response. Couldn't get that to go. Broomhall goes up strong now and gets the two to go. So good work there. So we're back within two once again here. 22 to 24 here. Real fit leader. So we keep an eye on the text line just to see if Yul Mania gets back to us. Meanwhile, well, Sterling gets that, doesn't get that to go. Sterling needs to kick it out. Ferguson now, as we're about halfway, halfway through this second second quarter, as Broomhall goes up and we're tied at 24. Great fight back here by Team Swisher, Jacob. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that's why he's voted the best colour man in the league, <laughs> folks. I think that's the line. Meanwhile, Greenwood goes up, couldn't get that to go. Harris with the rebound here, and Murray. Just reaching in on that one. So chopping to come in here for Sterling and Ashland will come in here as well too for Harris. So play restarts here as um, Ferguson with it now. Ferguson putting it to the floor. Goes up and while of what she got ball there, I think Carl Browning sees it a different way. There's a right, a right smile there from, from Emma down on court. <laughs> she thinks she got all ball, but um, remains to be seen. I think Lauren Faulkner looked up to us and probably agreed. Anyway, Ellie Ferguson at the line here for two. Knocks down the first. Of course, as we mentioned, the Ferguson family helping us out tonight as, as well. 
with, with the sponsorship, and Jacob is doing next readout. Yes. Which he's, excited. he's excited about it, folks. I'm telling you what, this will be a good good little uh, challenge for him. We'll certainly show him the script. Murray to Faulkner for the mid-range. Two! Well, she'll wind him back the clock on that one. We're tied at 26. And the no response. End-to-end -end stuff here now. That's what we're all about here in the sum Tassie Summer Slam. As we'll update that scoreboard, folks. There we go. Team Swisher leader by two. Greenwood going to work. Oh, I think Swain got away with an arm. And we're tied at 28 once again. So ball down the floor here. Ball getting moved around that shoehorn as now Ashland kicks out. Swain, extra to Steinel. Steinel from deep this time. It's a bit strong on that one. Ashland, good eye board, and gets the two to go. Great work by Jazz Ashland on that play. So really good, really good read and find once again. Right spot, right time here. And it's chopping now. Finds an opening herself. Goes up strong. Can't get the two to go. Faulkner with the eye board. Waller putting it to the floor. Waller, oh, pretty pass in the Murray. Put that in the top ten plays of the week, please. We are tied at 30. That was a pretty play. I'm sure uh, JR Smith Media will be helping us out with that one, cutting that one up for us. Meanwhile, good hands by Waller. But then Ashland able to recover. Broomhall, another offensive rebound. If only the boys were here, I'd love to get the stats on Broomhall's um, rebounding. That is for sure. Foul on the play here. 3.07 to go. Rain Davey coming back in here for Lauren Faulkner, who hit a nice mid-range jumper as well. So Broomhall here at the line for two. As we say, it's been a massive weekend of hoops. And as I said, the basketball roadshow hasn't stopped for myself and JB. Getting this gear back last night. And getting this gear up here today. So we are a moving vehicle, so to speak. Maybe every weekend at the moment as Broomhall can't get both to go. Steiner will get the put back though and give Swisher the lead here by two. So now Murray. Oh, Davey, right place, right time. And that's that's a two right there. Tied ball game once again here. End-to-end -end stuff here. Trust you enjoying the coverage by the Chargers TV YouTube channel. Tassie SummerSlam round three of the women's competition happening right now on your screen as Broomhall wraparound pass to Ashland. She tries to cross it over but went to no man's land. Now Waller, he's chopping with it. Chopping Euro into a floater and got that to go. So Broomhall now working away in. Steindl. Steindl thought about it. Now putting it to the floor. Oh, good backdoor play at Ashland. Just couldn't get it to go. She knows it as well too. Hands on head. Meanwhile, chopping. Oh, nice pass to Greenwood for the two. And now out to a four-point lead. And Holly Nash is seeing her. She'll call timeout. She senses a, a run here by Team Real Fit. And that has got them up by four. 36-32. Just on two minutes remaining here in this second quarter as we come to you from the Rain Basketball Stadium. Jacob, any thoughts on, on, on the game so far? Any thoughts? I mean, it's been pretty close like the whole entire time. It, yep. It's a good game. I don't, I don't know what else to really say about it. It's a close game. Teams are trading buckets. There's been some good passes. There have been some nice plays, hasn't there? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, and really good teamwork, though. You can see the teams that's working together, their, their, their end goals to try to get to the hoop, and that's what they've been doing. Yeah. Absolutely. Again, the best colour commentator <laughs> we'll get in the league, folks. Don't you worry about it. Well, certainly, don't worry. We'll give Jacob, we'll give Jacob some training uh, <laughs> in the, in the off-season. Um, yes, a minute 59 to go. Thanks to uh, Total Denture Care Clinics, you are tuning in uh, by the Chargers TV YouTube channel here. The Tassie Summer Slam now. Is that's what we can officially call it, Jacob. Yes. We've got the all clear from... Uh, the boss today, and um, no, great to great to see all the promotion behind it and whatnot. Of course, I've shared some of it on my social media as well too. So that's no, fantastic to see, and I uh, suppose so there'll be some more highlights coming up throughout the week. So stay tuned on the on the Instagram page to, to see what is happening, and of course, uh, 
can you can follow them on social media. You can follow myself on social media. Just a shameless plug here. Ronald underscore twenty five eighteen. If you want to, if you want to. But Tazzy at Tazzy SummerSlam. That's the main page you want to follow. That is for sure. Steinle into Ashland. Oh, I couldn't get it to go again. Ashland doing a great lot of work. Just just not getting rewarded. Oh, sorry, not rewarding herself for um, getting uh, getting the two to go. Now the ball with Chopping. Chopping fires one from deep and couldn't get that to go. Green with the rebound now. Harris. Harris quickly up the floor here. And double team arrives. Now Ashland able to get the ball. Ferguson putting it to the floor. Harris into Steindl. Steindl pull up Jay is back on. And now Greenwood with it. So Greenwood. Now Davey. Cross court, Waller thought about it. Murray fires for three is bad. Way long in that one. Now Ashland here as we uh, just under a minute now before the major break here in our fir in first of our first game of our double header. Of course, the uh, team uh, Utah Utahs and Sweaty Betty's up next. As Murray comes off and Sterling back in here. 44.8 remaining in this second quarter. Now is that Richard? I'm just wondering that's Richard Mitchell down there taking the photos as well too. I know it's not our good mate uh, from uh, uh, Matt from MJB. No, it is Richard Mitchell actually. That is a blast from the past. Great to see Richard on the camera here for us tonight. I'm going to have to find a way of getting those photos somehow. Greenwood now working a way in. Chopping, putting it to the floor. Oh, nice move by Chopping. Couldn't get the two to go. That would have been a pretty play. So last play here, you would think, but it looks like Swisher going to hit, hit the ground running. Ashland a little bit stuck. And then Mol Green, now Harris, fires for three. And, well, the bank is open on a Monday night. We'll accept the ATM and the savings account. Walla for the response. He's not there. And half time as we'll update the scoreboard for Team Swisher. They're up to 35. Real fits are 36. And round three of the Tassie SummerSlam continues here. And Jacob, all right. we're going to get you to read this out. Okay. All right, so you just got to read all that. And, I can, and I'll have a glass, of, I'll have a bottle of water while you're reading all right. that. All right, so today... Denture Care Clinics, a family-owned and operated practice where expertise meets excellent excellence in denture care. Visit their Kingston, Sorrell or Newtown clinics for personalised solutions to keep your smile shining. At Will Ferguson... Uh, just say Will Ferguson. Just at Will Ferguson, a current men's TSS player is currently completing his dental technician diploma through TDC. Once Welling completes his dental technician training, he will then go on to complete his dental prosthetic prosthesis yep. diploma to be able to see patients. Well done to Will and a very big thank you to Andrew and Tristy Ferguson and, a, and Total Dental Care Clinic for sponsoring round three of the Women's Tassie Summer Slam. Oh, that, <laughs> oh round of applause. <laughs> great work. Great thank work, you. Jacob. That is uh, sensational. And uh, and uh, great, great read there. And a uh, massive thank you to, uh, to Tristy and Andrew, who uh, uh, not only uh, do both their son and daughter play, of course, Will, as you mentioned there, Will does play on the Friday nights with the boys. Ellie currently playing at the moment. And, of course, Tristy helping out uh, not only here in competition, but she's also helped out with, with the Hobart Chargers as well, too, along with Hobart Phoenix, which is the home club for the Fergusons. And great to have Total Denture Clear Clinics uh, with us for round three. That, no, no, how'd you feel? Uh, all right. All right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't think I did too great, but it's fine. Oh, you did all right. Did all right? You did all right. Oh, I'm hoping, um, Yuli, if you, if you did hear that, please get back, please get back to us. <laughs> As, uh, yeah, it's good to see uh, Josh Yule, uh, uh, a.k.a. The, the Commish. Not the boss, the Commish. Commish. Yes, I remember you said to me last week, oh, yeah, we should, I should be the commissioner of the competition. I said, well, mate, you are the commissioner of the competition because you're the one making all the calls and, and whatnot and getting everyone on board, uh, which is fantastic to see. So thank you to all the corporate businesses that have jumped on board, and especially 
uh, total denture care clinics as well too. But yes, the commish happy with what's go what he's seeing and what's going on. And of course, he was all, he's always updating us every week, and he's happy with your work as well too, Jacob. So don't you worry. That's great to hear. So. Third quarter about to get underway here from the Rain Basketball Stadium. You are tuning in by Chargers by the Chargers TV YouTube page. Great to have you with us here on a Monday night. My third straight day in a row of live streaming sporting uh, basketball events left, right, centre. Of course, just on the weekend, we're only up in Launceston. And back here at Rain here to see Of course, Friday night, myself and JB won't be here, but Jacob and um, Bart, now Bart is... Yes, Bart will be here to... Um, help out on the stream as well too. Maybe the commission might come up here to also give it a lending hand just to throw him in there as well too. So, a third quarter underway. There's Ferguson now. Broomhall. Steindl. Back to Broomhall. Broomhall fires one for three. Well, that missed everything. But Harris right place, right time. And gets that two to go. So, good work by Team Swisher. They retake the lead by one. 37-36. Most animated I've seen Holly Nash in this game, standing up and barking out the instructions. Meanwhile, chopping from deep, couldn't get that to go. Harris with the rebound here. Harris up the floor to Ashland. Ashland, who probably needs a better second half of finishing at the rim, will need to really get some more points. Room hall now. Steinel open. Couldn't get that to go. Chopping with the rebound here. Now she goes to Davey. Maybe slowing this one down. Waller with it here. Now Murray, kick out pass, chopping, fires for three. Can't get that to go. Murray tries her luck, and well, her luck went down pretty well. She gets that three ball to go down. So good response there by Team Real Fit, and they retake the lead by two. V9-37, our scoreline here. All inside to Steindl. Now Broomhall, Broomhall kick out pass. Ferguson open for three, yes. Ellie Ferguson from downtown. And it's a seesawing lead now. One point ball game, 40-37 in favour of Team Swisher. And don't you just love to see those shots dropping for all the players, Jake? Yes. Chopping on cue, couldn't get that for us to... Um, Go all right, a good segue line there, but not to no avail. Meanwhile, Ferguson from deep couldn't get that to go. And then Ashland does a good job there, and this time gets that two to go. So nice work, Chaz Ashland. And Matt Bennell has seen enough, so he'll call time out here. So, so now we're out to a three-point lead, 42 to 39, thanks to, thanks to total... Uh, Total denture care clinics here, round three of the Tassie SummerSlam competition. Continuing from the ho from the Warren Basketball Stadium. I was about to mention another venue there, but we, I was going to say, we're not in Newtown. No. Don't. We're actually at Warren. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. So, again, as I mentioned, Chucky, you know, as, as, a play, as, a play, as a player, when you see that ball go through to a hoop, you would be pretty happy that most times and often you'd be happy to see it, wouldn't you? Yeah, to go, for it to go through the hoop, yeah, I'd, through hoop, I'd be overjoyed to see it go through the hoop. And I think some of the players are absolutely enjoying that as well too, Jacob. Really good to see the um, the scoring rate here at a pretty good clip. As I mentioned, no stats to the no stats tonight. The boys are doing it re remotely from home, so unfortunately we have no kind of uh, in-game one, uh, I can tell you. But but uh, the uh, shooting percentages wouldn't be too bad, Jacob. And no. um, uh, both teams are really going out of here. It's been, like I say, it's still a close game. Yeah, it's still extremely close. I mean, it's what, three points yep. difference? Yes, yeah, three point difference. You've got it right. 42 39 in favour of Team Swisher. As Real Fit look to either get this back with one or tied here at 42. Meanwhile, Waller now. Murray. Chopping. Chopping, putting it to the floor now. Goes up strong, can't get that flow to go. He does a good job following the shot. Greenwood misses that one. Now ball quickly up the floor here as Ashland, and oh, takes out Jack McCaffrey, you ripper. <laughs> and that's what you get for being on your phone, son. I'm telling you, good grief. That, that is bad. We've got that on camera. 
Meanwhile, Walla now with it as we had to share to the boys. We got that on camera. We're clipping that one up personally. <laughs> Just goes to show you've got to be ready for anything at this stadium. Exactly. We are in the rain. Meanwhile, <laughs> don't answer that question. As Chopping, though, will answer a three for me, and she knocks that one down from downtown. Back to 42 apiece here. This is some sort of game we're seeing right now, folks. This has been good. Ashland couldn't get the mid-range two. Greenwood saves it. Greenwood off and running. Now the ball chopping here. Chopping from deep. Couldn't get back-to-back -back triples on that occasion. As Broomhall now works her way through. Kick out. Harris. Ferguson. Ferguson step back. And then good defense by Murray. Now Harris putting it to the floor. Goes up with a floater. Couldn't get that to go. Broomhall, good rebound there. Back to Ferguson for the three. In and out. Did everything. Two pieces of the rim about success. Good grief. As chopping now. Kicks it out to Davey. Davey cross, cross court into Greenwood in the middle of the key. Now Waller. Back to Greenwood. Good hands by Ferguson. Now ball quickly up the floor here. Back to Ferguson who started the play. Into Ashland. And oh, again, that finish at the rim for Ashland. Just not going. Broomhall though got fouled on the play. She'll go to the line for two. That's some good work. Good work here in the venue with both teams really going at it, which is fantastic to see. And uh, as I say, Jake, we, we, you, if you're sitting in the stands, you just got to be ready for anything. You can, if you look at your head down for one second, you'd you know, be done. You could be. Yeah. As Broomhall knocks down the first. Yes, bit like a bit like it could, could happen at school, Jake. It could happen anyway. <laughs> he could. He could. So 43-42 our score line here. Team Swisher now leader by one. Of course, always keep keep your eyes and eyes, ears, mouth and you know open. Whatever that saying is. <laughs> Meanwhile, Davy Waller. Well, that did everything but go in. Hit the bank. Hit the rim. Then he went through the hoop and then out of the hoop. So Harris now, as we come back down the floor here. Harris works away inside. Gets her own rebound. Oh, pass into Broomhall. Lovely. And Broomhall again, right place, right time. As well, we've got 44-43. Interesting. No, 46 now. That's right. Team switch up. We'll just make sure we got the scores right, folks. There's a, there's a slight. I think there's a, there's a small issue down on the down on, down at the scorers table. So now we have 44. Now I'm trying to work out 44 here. I think that's team rule fit. So I think it's um, team Swisher up by two currently at the moment. Let's see Ayrton chopping in the building. This has come from Trials with Southern Wolves. So Ayrton will be in action on Friday night for uh, for the uh, men's competition coming up. Meanwhile, Greenwood. You can see that on Chargers TV. Waller lost it. And ball goes out of play. There's a couple of people come out of the shot lab there as well too. So the ball with Ashland here, just under four and a bit to go here. Ashland, now Bro Broomhall. Broomhall for three, missed everything. Waller with the rebound. So what, chopping, chopping with an acrobatic move. Good. I'm not sure where that one come from, Jacob. It was just coming, coming out near. I thought she was going to do it like a big 360 or something. You just never know with this game. That's right. Anything now, can happen. Now, apparently the scoreboard is telling us 45 apiece in Benue, so we're going we're gonna to update the scoreboard, folks. So there's been some discrepancy down on the score table bench, and now we are at a 45 apiece in Benue. Oh, get that out of here, says Steinle. Murray had no chance on that one. And ball goes out of play. So Sterling in for uh, C. Davey. Green coming in for Harris. And... Uh, 
We're all getting, uh, all getting a tad excited up here in the commentary booth, Jacob. Yeah. yeah. yeah Jacob's, lo Jacob's loving it as well, too. S seeing the, seeing the so-called pro in action. Steinel from Dave couldn't get that to go either. Ashland now. Back to Steinel. Steinel pull up. No. Into, back to Ashland. And that was a... Well, Ashland made that tougher than she looked. And then good D by Murray. Now Sterling here needs to retrieve this and does. Sterling who's played some good minutes so far in this game. Greenwood now chopping this time from deep. Yes! Chopping from downtown. And Holly Nash has said enough. She wants timeout. She'll get timeout. And... T team real fit up by three, 48 to 45. And some competitive shooting going on out there, uh, Jacob, that is for sure. Yeah. Yeah, uh, fair to say as well too, you know, both teams really going hard at it as well. There's no, there's, uh, there's no, let, no let up here. And what we mean by that is this, this no, no one's being lazy. Everyone's yeah. hustling, everyone's trying to get the ball. And again, they're in goal, trying to get the ball through the hoop. Yeah, every player here is determined. It's incredible to watch. Absolutely. Absolutely. So three or four remaining. Thank you to Total Digital Care Clinics for your support in round three of the Tassie Summer Slam. And to Tristy and Andrew, thank you very much. Uh, great to have you uh, on, on board with us. And, of course, uh, like I say, Ellie playing currently, and we'll play on Friday night. A few, like I say, a few, good to see some of the boys here from the from the men's competition here, watching, and that's a good thing as well too. Jacob, the uh, social interaction and the guys seeing the girls play and, and vice yeah. versa. That, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it brings a lot of people together. It's great. Yeah, no, it is, it's, and it's like. If only we can come to see your play, Jacob. No, <laughs> no, <it's good. laughs> Me and JB would love to come down for, no, <laughs> for a you, geezer. you guys don't have to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, of course, yes. Jacob, getting ready for his big major production tomorrow. You're, you're making it seem a lot bigger than... Oh, it come on, why not? It's going to be huge, as Daryl Eastlake would once say. And of course, Daryl Eastlake, a very famous con commentator for getting very excited at times and really, oh, the threshold, the voice is going up. And something like that, Jacob. So, meanwhile, yes. play continues down low with uh, Green. She couldn't get that to go. That is somewhat of a channel, a wide world of sports reference and a 12th man reference for those people at home. Chopping now, putting it to the floor. Waller. And then... Pass just overcooked there by Waller. Greenwood will need to really stretch an arm. Matt Bennell again, very animated as per usual on the bench. I wonder if he's taking a page out of Anthony Stewart's playbook on that one. Anyway, Ferguson now. Ashland down low. Ashland going to work. Spin. Shot is good for Jazz Ashland. So back to a point here, 47-48, our scoreline. Down low is Sterling, and Sterling gets a nice two. Lovely work there by Rita Sterling. And they make the half ton. So back to three, our margin. Ball down low here to Ashland. Cross court to uh, Swain. Steindl. Ferguson open for three. Yes, Ellie Ferguson finding a range from downtown and we're tied at 50 once again. This has been some sort of game so far. Chopping for a response, not there. Walla for the rebound. And now Greenwood from the elbow. Lovely work there by Greenwood. Matt Bennell really barking out the instructions. Wants a stop here. So Bennell... They've been working his girls hard here as Green now Steinel from deep in and out on that one. Ferguson, Swain inside to, oh, beautiful play. Steinel in the green, yes. Tied at 52 once again. Oh, we at 50-52. We'll soon find out as Chopping couldn't get that one to go. Again, in venue, have a different scoreline to what we have, folks. So we'll, um, we'll monitor that. So now Steinl now putting it to the floor. Steinl going to work up. Nice move, Carla Steinl. 
Now we're tied at 52, so we'll leave it at what we got on the scoreline. No, 54, sorry. 54 to Team Swisher now. So they lead it by two. And then the three went up. They couldn't go there. And Holly Nash calling out one shot here. So 10 seconds to go before we reach three-quarter time. Steinle with it here. Steinle looking to go to Ferguson. Ferguson needs to put it to the floor. Good hands by Waller. Can Waller get this one off before the buzzer? Yes! Emma Waller with the buzzer beat at three-quarter time. Will that count? It counts! And we are tied once again here at 54 apiece. She got off in, she got, got off in time? Yeah, I reckon, I'm calling it good. Yes, just confirming there with referee Jordan Peel. And uh, we are tied at 54. And the boss has, um, the boss has come back with a refined uh, plug. And we'll read it out here because I can. Re I reckon I can read this out within 30 seconds. Round three of the women's Tassie. Uh, I'll repeat. I'll start that again. Round three of the women's Tassie Summer Slam is proudly sponsored by Total Denture Care Clinics. Their family-owned clinics in Kingston, Surrey, and Newtown offer personalised denture solutions to keep your smile shining. Thank you to Andrew and Tristy Ferguson and the team at Total Denture Care. That actually, boss, that's a that's a commish. That's um that's well refined actually. That's 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 quite easy to read within the space. So well, we did that in about twenty odd seconds. So uh, Ayrton in the building here as uh, Ayrton goes down and no Ayrton ignoring the uh, broadcast team down here. Yeah. All right, we'll get it. I'll get one back at him during the week. So there you go. So that's um, that's that's well good. I'll give that. We'll give that the thumb. So good to see the commish in touch with us on broadcast here, Jacob. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Always good when the boss is uh, letting us know and live live updates. And of course, we're just live here on the broadcast as well too. Speaking of that, we are tied at 54 here. Last quarter underway. Now, if we are tied at regulation, we will go OT. And I've been told five minutes is the ruling there until we get a winner. So, now, Broomhall into Steinle. Steinle on the run and gets it to go. Steinle with the M1 play. A foul will be assessed on Waller. Great running there by Carla Steinle. Just goes to show that off-season off movement or fitness uh, is certainly pay, is certainly paying off because she's still keeping herself in good shape which is great to see and gets that one to go down so three point lead now for team swisher and this game has been a seesawing affair here uh for, throughout this throughout this game waller now chopping chopping with that famous number 24 on the back of a jersey as greenwood gets the response in kind down the other end of the floor And it's going to be on Steinle. So, <laughs> complete reversal down the upper end of the floor. So, Greenwood to tie this one back up once again. Yes, gets that one tied up. So, we're tied at 57 here. And we're only played 30 seconds into this, into this ball game so far. So, Harris putting it to the floor. Trying to go to Broomhall. Goes up and gets the two. Just update that scoreline, folks. There we go, 59-57. Waller with it. Waller looking for options. Goes to uh, Murray. Murray working away in. Goes up. Can't get that hook shot to go. Ashton with the rebound. And now Steinle with it as we come down the floor here. Steinle thought about it. Putting on some moves. Looking for help. Goes solo. And it was a good option. Carla Steinle knocks another two down. And all of a sudden... Team Swisher out by four now. Can this be the run where they really open up the game? Greenwood into Murray. Good hands by Broomhall to deflect that one out. Looks like Lauren Faulkner will be checking back into this ball game. Waller. Now Sterling. Murray. Murray thought about it. Now looking at looking at options. Get, kills the dribble. 
Sterling in the Greenwood. Greenwood with five on the shot clock to go. Greenwood, nice move. And nice touch by Josie Greenwood. That is just pure great post play there. Back to two. Steinel. Looking for that cut. Ferguson provides it. A great play. Steinel to Ferguson. Great job. And just a really good cut there by Ellie Ferguson. Recognising what Steinel was up to. And then that lane opening up nicely. And then Ferguson really catching a good one and able to finish nicely. So good work there by Ellie Ferguson. And of course, thanks to our mum and dad, uh, Tristy and Andrew. Ferguson from Total Adventure Care Clinics for sponsoring round three of the Tassie SummerSlam women's competition. And as that went down, so we'll update to 64 as Murray gets that two to go. Nice work. Back to three. All here with Bachelor. Now Steinel. Steinel fires that one. Couldn't get that to go. Good work by Ashland once again, but no avail. Waller with the rebound here. Waller now chopping. Good hands by Harris. Harris is clear, and Harris should get the layup. No, she doesn't. That's a sitter. Not what you want to see. Faulkner to make him pay. No, not there. So, would that be one that Team Swisher just gets away with? Those... Easy ones, those are ones you've got to make at this level. Ferguson, inside the Steinle, kick out pass, Broom Hall now, work it away, spin, stuck at the baseline, needs to kick it out. Ferguson, open, short on that play, Ashland and Harris fighting for their own individual stats. As Ashland now going to work, now Ferguson putting it to the floor. And foul on the play. That's going to be on the floor. That could be assessed on Murray, I'm assuming. Yes, it will be. Six fifty-one remaining here. Three points has been our margin. And it hasn't got any bigger than probably, I'd say, four, four or five points so far. And ball goes out of play. And now we'll come back to the real fits. Or real fit. So Murray coming down here. Murray attacking. Going to Chopping, who runs out of real estate. Oh, he takes out the youngster. All right, let's hope they're okay. Uh, yeah, she's okay. Good to, good to see the family here as well, too. Of course, now I'm trying to work out now the, the, um, the partner of Harris there. He plays for the Jack Jumpers. The name has escaped me, unfortunately. So, again, text line is open, folks, if you can let us know who that is. Um... I should know it because we know the check jumpers plays very well. Meanwhile, Broom Hall. Ferguson for three this time. Couldn't get to go. Ashland Greenwood working their way on the rebound. Greenwood, no. Ferguson, yes. As Broom Hall now looking to attack. Kick out. Steindl into Harris. Mid range is good. It's a nice shot there by Harris. And back out to a five point lead here for Team Swisher. Chopping with it. Oh, chopping just a bit too over exuberant on the move. Just rushing a little bit. And uh, chopping just needs to keep a bit of a cool head here. It's getting probably a tad frustrated. She probably spent it before she got it too a little bit on that move. So just needs to keep a cool head here and let the defense do the talking. As Harris works her way through. Ferguson now Steindl, Steindl putting it to the floor, knee lost a handle, able to find a way through and knocks down another two. Steindl just having a way here in this, in this last quarter. Greenwood. Murray from deep, yes, and that's a badly needed three that the, the real fits uh, needed on that one. Back to four. Murray, oh sorry, Ashland, sorry, to Ferguson. Good hands by Waller. And then, well, good pick off there by Waller. So now Murray with it. Murray getting double teamed down there. And foul on the play. So 
ball. So just under five minutes remaining here as we have substitution. Swain coming in for Ferguson. Murray to inbound it. And referee Jordan Peel says a timeout's been called. So 4.55 remaining here. And uh, four points are margin. Of course, the round three of the Tassie Summer Slam competition continues here. It's the women's division. And uh, uh, great to have you with us on a Monday night here. Nice little crowd building as per usual. Good to see the boys uh, in as well too. And a bit of a watch. So... That's been good, but Jacob, what are you, what are you, what are you thinking of this game so far? Like it's just, it's just a neck and neck, isn't it's it? It's neck and neck. I've got no clue where it's going to go. Like we got five minutes left, and I have no clue. Who do you who... think's going to win? Team Swisher, which is of course the the, bla the team in the black jerseys, or uh, Team Real Fit, which is in the in those purple jerseys? Well, I really don't know to tell you the yeah. truth. Um, they're only four points apart, which is extremely close for yeah. the last quarter. Yeah, are you could you predict overtime? If it's a draw, if it's a draw at the end of this, we have to play overtime. I, I wouldn't put it past happening. I, yeah. it, it could happen, honestly. All right, because they've tied a few times throughout this whole game. Well, we've had one. Times. We had one tie back in the men's competition between Utahs and Swisher, and that went to OT. So that was a, um, that was a, that was a fun game to call. Actually, that was a really good one, and um, yeah, I don't think we've had one for the women yet. So. Could we could we be due for for that? We, we might be. Notre Dame's Jacob White could be on the go <laughs> here. We'll soon find out. For, as I mentioned, four fifty five remaining here. Last quarter action coming to you from Moraine as Claire Murray just gives us a small hello. Great to see. It's always good when the players can interact with us as well too yeah. live on the broadcast, Jacob. That's always a good thing, and uh, it's good fun as well too. Because uh, always plenty happening in the Tassie Summer Slam. Great name for the competition as well, too. Just rolls off the tongue nicely. Yeah. And shopping fires from deep and knocks it down from downtown. We're back to a tied ball game. No, one point ball game. Ball with Steinle, kick out pass. Uh, Ashland now goes up and off glass gets the two to go. Good response there. End to end stuff. And we're back out to, whoop, we're back out to three points. Chopping now for back-to-back -back triples is short on that one. As Broomhall, now Ashland. And the ball here with Steinle for three is short on that one. Ashland in back to Steinle here. Steinle up strong and off glass. That is vintage Kayla Steinle right there. Out to five, the, the margin. Faulkner. Faulkner. Now Waller. Former team, I believe they're former teammates combined. Couldn't get that to go. I believe they did represent State at the same time. I need to double check the facts on that one. Meanwhile, I won't double check the facts on that one as the uh, shot goes down there. I just couldn't pick up who actually shot that one there. So, but we're back to a two-point ball game here. Steinle, now Broomhall works her way through as the JB is in the building. And it's Waller now. Greenwood slowing it down here. And chopping, will that be, and our blocking foul will be assessed. They'll wave it off. And uh, Ellie Ferguson looking to check into the ball game once again. And Porsche chopping at the line here for two. Three minutes remaining in the last quarter. This has been a great game of basketball. It's been close all the way through as play restarts. Now Broomhall, uh, sorry, Murray. Waller. Waller getting a good screen from Davey. Waller looking to go to work down low. Kick out pass here. Shot clock at two. Murray needs to get busy and can't on that one. Couldn't get that shot to go. Now Broomhall with it here. Now back to Ferguson. Broomhall, they all combine here as Ashland joins into the party. Ashland going up strong. Couldn't get it to go. Nice hands by Waller. Steinle recovers. Foul on Waller. 238 remaining. Uh, sorry, 228 remaining here. This is close, Jacob. It is. This is, like edgy, this is like edge of your seat stuff. 
Yeah. Yeah. No, it certainly is. And uh, great to have you with us. By the Chargers TV YouTube channel, the Tassie SummerSlam. Round three of the women's competition in action here currently is Steinel. Well, good hands by Davey. And then Steinel recovers and gets the two. Steinel just making something out of nothing on that play. As Murray. Waller now putting it to the floor. Greenwood, nice. I like the offensive movement here by Real Fit as Murray looks to go to work. Now back to Greenwood here. Davey wanting it down low, but good work by Ashland. Last touch by last touch by Davey. So ball comes back to Team Squisher here. And we're under two minutes now. So it's vitally important that a real fit get a stop here. But with your team swisher, you're really just looking to score and try and get a bit of a, a small buffer here. Harris putting it to the floor. Mr. Ferguson. He's had a good good game along with Steiner as well too. And then Ashland throwing those arms around like no tomorrow. Goes up, draws the foul. Goes to the line for two. Some good aggression. So Jazz Ashland here at the line for two. And uh, it's been a, been a good game. And a massive thank you to uh, Total uh, Denture Care Clinics. We've been giving them a really good plug, JB. Proud. We even got Jacob to read the script as well too. Yeah. Which was, uh, yes, the commission's been um, tuning in and sending messages left, right, centre as well. So uh, it's, been, it's been good. Yeah. As Ashland goes, one of two, gets a, gets, somehow gets the rebound. No call on the play. They will let that one continue. Now Chopping with it here as we come back down the floor. Can Chopping bring out a nice score here? Chopping from downtown is long on that one. Steinle with the rebound. Ferguson now. Back to Steinle. Here's Broomhall. Back to Steinle here. Broomhall now looking to go to work. And then kick out play there. You know, ball went out of play. So comes back to uh, Team Swisher here. Minute eight remaining. So Harris to restart. Nine on the shot clock. Steinel. Now Ashland working away. Good hands by Davey. Ashland, tough shot. Fortunately, she was Referee she didn't see it that way. As Waller's off and running. Waller trying to slow this one down. Some extensive pressure here by Team Swisher. Now Waller from deep. Yes! Emma Waller from downtown. And we're back to two points. And a quick foul on the play here. We'll see... Team, team Swisher at the line for two. No? Yes, that is shots. Yes, team fouls. So, great three by Waller. And just didn't need to overplay it on that final play there. Because, um, yeah, just, just no need. And you have plenty of time left on the clock. Sometimes, Jacob, we always say to our players that you should just let them get it over halfway, then we'll be more aggressive on our D, rather than you know, trying to get a foul straight away. Yeah. So sometimes the strategies can always be interesting by, by players or, or the coaches, depending on who, who makes that call. Maybe they just overplayed it a little bit, I, I'd, I'd sense. As Harris goes one or two, chopping with the rebound. Now they've got a chance to tie it here. We'll get it back to you in one once again. Chopping. Oh, Aaron pass. That was a little bit too late. Harris here. This might be the one, folks, as Harris gets the two. And that could all she be right. Or can a quick score here by the real fits get this? And, yeah, no, I think that's game. Chopping couldn't reel that one in. Just trying to... I feel like ch Chopping was trying to go two steps ahead there and just wasn't able to reel that one in. And, yeah, and the fouling game will continue here. So back to the foul line we go. 21.7 seconds remaining here. And Team Swisher lead it by five. This has been a great game from, from O to start. And uh, credit to both teams, though. This, is, this has been, uh, been great plays. Lauren Faulkner is back into the game. Of course, a, a new player into the competition. As I, as I mentioned, uh, uh, her brother, of course, famously played for, us for the Australian cricket team in both Test and One Days, and of course now uh, runs a uh, pub down at Salamanca as well. But good to see Lauren here. Of course, she's a lawyer by trade. And now Murray 
Greenwood. Davey thought about it. Greenwood, they need to go to Murray here. Murray fires for threes. Short on that one. Stein with the rebound. And I think that's going to do it. So great work by Team Swisher. Just in these last couple of minutes to get on that small run now, and then have that buffer. And then they get this win here by six points in what was a fantastic game of basketball. And Jacob, that was pretty good, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was amazing. It was close up until the very end. Yep. And, of course, yeah, Team Swisher just running away with it and uh, and uh, getting that buffer that they that they needed. So a uh, good win there by Team Swisher, uh, but good effort by Team Real Fit as well too to really, to really make a game of it and some good basketball on display as well. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, well. Yes, it was some great basketball, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. Yes, Jacob. Oh, sorry to put you off guard there. I was trying to throw you there, but that's, that's all right. Uh, good job, Jacob. Uh, well, well done being behind the um, being behind the mic and the camera. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to show you that major league reference in a minute, so I'm going to tee that one up. Uh, but for now, that will that will do us for a little bit. We'll, we'll, we'll take a break and then we'll come back with. Um, come back with the next game which is between you Taz and the Sweaty Betties you are tuning in to round three of the Tassie SummerSlam competition of course it's women it's the women playing here tonight and a massive thank you to Total Denture Claire Clinics for your sponsorship tonight of the broadcast we'll be back with you in about uh, I reckon in about five 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 or so minutes time
Hello everyone, welcome in to Chargers TV and rolling coverage of the 2023 Summer League Tassie Summer Slam as the rebrand and the brand build continues. Thank you for tuning into our first game. As you can see, they're about to change the scoreboards over. As Swisher got the win over the over Real Fit, 79-73. Ronnie, you got all of that game there. What were your yeah. thoughts? Oh, look, it was a really good game. It was basically neck and neck. Uh, they were training baskets. The you know, margin, you know, throughout the majority of that game was, you know, wasn't any bigger than say five. So I, I felt just some crucial turnovers in that last quarter by Team uh, Real Fit, and just trying to rush a little bit as well too, just cost them in the end dearly. And Team Swisher, through Kayla Steinall, able to knock knock them down and uh, get the win there for um, for Team Swisher. And good, and Holly Nash's. First win as head, as acting head coach <laughs> as well, too. Good to see Holly down on the bench there. Yes, I believe Adrian Gusty was unavailable tonight. Uh, not sure of the reason, um, but yeah. Good to see Jacob as well on the headset there, mate. You've got a big job Friday night. You're going to have to steer the ship in one direction or another. Yeah. Just going to be good to see. Yeah. I'll tell you what, it'll show whether we're any decent at training you to do the job. I can tell you that much. Here. He's, he's been taking photos. He's been taking notes, JB. So I can tell you what, his, act, his efforts are certainly are not going to be reflective he, of his ability, he's, be, he's, whether he, we've trained him properly or not. He's, 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 one, he's not one of the best colour man in, in the league, folks, I can tell you. I gave him a, a major league reference <laughs> to the uh, commentator who doesn't say much on the broadcast where Harry Doyle kind of runs the show there. So, got, a, um, got a lot of the uh, dodgeball vibes about it. Yes, definitely. So no, I, just, I just showed him the clip too before I came downstairs to, to you. Uh, yeah, we had a good chuckle about it, so... Um, yeah, no, nah, I believe um, he's uh, uh, one of his other teachers is coming in on Friday night as well too to help with the broadcast. So, uh, and, and yeah, of course here a shout out to our N3 uh, Women's Tassie Summer Slam. Yep, he is proudly sponsored by Total Denture Care Clinics, their family-owned clinics in Kingston, Sorrell, and Newtown offer personalised denture solutions to keep your smile shining. Thank you to Andrew and Tristy Ferguson and the team at Total Denture Care. We've got the refined one yes. for game two, Ronnie. Yes, because we, we, read, we read the long one out, so we read the original one out. Apparently, which I, by the time that finished, it was half time. <laughs> well, that's not my fault. <laughs> no, no, that's true. Shout out to... Uh, the your, Commish. Shout out to um, Commissioner Mania, who is uh, watching from afar. Yes, yes. No, he was, like I said, he was on the text line to myself and Jacob throughout the game. Um, at, at, at one stage, Jacob describing... Uh, Josh Yule as uh, a mystery man around Bayview uh, a High School. A mystery man. Yes. Wow. Now and then, and I then, have seen why he is a mystery man. That's a, and it's then, a big call, young man. And then, of course, Josh, Josh was able to chime in saying he was, uh, he'd tell Jacob, I'm on parental leave. So that was the response. Jeez. <laughs> so great to see a bit of banter between the commish and us here and the broadcast Have you, have you received your end of year report card yet? <laughs> I probably, yeah. <laughs> what were you looking at, like uh, EA, HA sort of thing? We, we hear he's a pretty good, pretty smart academic like if student. You, if, you've been look, if you've been looking at it, keep looking at it, because it's a long way in the distance now after <laughs> comment like that. <laughs> Referees Carl Browning and... Uh, Jordan Peel. Jordan Peel. Yes. Yes, Peely, uh, as I mentioned, Peely coming off a, a tough day yesterday. He had a, he had a chance to, um, I did mention a little bit about the State League in the first game, JB. Of course, Peely had a chance to put in the overtime, but unfortunately his shot was back iron, and uh, they went down by three, of course. One was one, one of the best games we've seen in a little while. Now, we're on the um, stadium Wi-Fi, JB. We are. We are, so as long as we can... We're still pumping through. We're still pumping. What have we got here again? Another jump ball, JB, because Carl Brown didn't throw it up straight, I don't think. It's a shock there. That's better, That's Kale. It is much better. Well done. As the second game gets underway here, Colin straight away. Sweaty Betty's and gets that one to drop. Yes, I feel like the Sweaty Betty's will be a, a nice, a nice uh, name to uh, roll off the tongue, JB. But Ellie Collins uh, gets that, get that to go. Bit of an easier finish there. Let's see if we're still on. let see if we're still live, JB. This has been interesting. It survives for one game. And then we have issues. Yeah, in the no, next we game. are st we are still. Of course, I'll let you know if that happens. Last That's time right. we tried to toy with the 
Wi-Fi live. We cut in and out of our game. Yes, we yes we did. We'll leave that going until it says no more. Uh, yes, uh, and the boys are up upstairs. Yeah, we've tripled the population of the uh, yep. commentary box here. Yes, Jack, Hamish and Brad are up here. And they are paying. Yep, yes. there's your shout-out, boys. No, we gave Jack a shout-out because he got hit by a ball because he was looking down at his phone. Oh, no. And the ball just went bang. Oh, forward. speaking of bang, there's a big shot there. Sweaty <laughs> Betty's out to a 5-0 yeah, start. Yeah. Yes, he was very happy with his performance when the ball got hit. Keeping his um, P's and Q's as well. It's Bradley, Hamish yep. and Jack. As that shot goes up there, Utah's can't get that to go. Sweaty Betty's out early, 5-0. I was going to say, Eliza and uh, Hamish backing up from big day yesterday in Oatlands as well too. Yes, no, I've um, heard by all reports are very busy out at Oatlands. Now, that didn't hit the shot. No, yeah, shot clock violation. Shot clock violation didn't hit the rim. That one will not count. 5-0 start here for the Sweaty Betties. Yes, no, I'm interested to see how this game plays out. Like I say, we had a really good game first up in our coverage and we'll be interested to see how we go in this uh, second game here, JB. So, yeah. A bit of crowd as well. Yeah, Ronnie this yeah. week. As I mentioned in the first game, JB, it was good to, it's good to see some of the boys here tonight actually watching the, the girls play because I, we do know the girls come out and watch the boys play on a Friday night. So um, good to see good to see the crew here. Uh, that was a nice thread the needle pass there by Rhodes. However, just needed a stronger lead essentially from Bartlett. 7 0 start here, Sweaty Betty's. James Murray, the coach of the Utahs team, and Daniel Saville running around as the coach of the Sweaty Betty's. This will be a nice coaching battle too. Two, two of the uh, up-and-coming coaches in this state as well. You know, Daniel getting some state positions for, for out. And, you know, as I said, James is probably, you know, right up there to, to be probably one of the next ones to get a state position. And, of course, Shaq Bone, who's, who's playing out here for UTAS tonight as well too, JB. Junior coach of the year. Yes, at the BTAS Gala did. Congratulations to Shaq there. Well, there was a nice jump down pass, and I think the Sweaty Betty's took the third of two options amongst all of it as Utah's looked to get away. Starting line up there for Utah's Lee Bartlett, Eliza Vanderkamp, Pia Rhodes, and Shaq Bone. On the other side of things, the Sweaty Betty's. That's Lauren Mills getting that weak stuff out of here. Also looking down there to make sure I get everyone correct. That is Coco Aaron Neve Ball. That would be Bridie McCaffrey, and of course. Ellie Collins. Now, the rotations for both sides will be interesting here, Ronnie. Of course, Amy Wiggins clearly fit and in uniform. Foul was yes. Rhodes as she'll go to the line, but I do know there's probably still a bit of injury concern for Zoe Banks, and we definitely know that Ruby Erin won't be taking place. Meanwhile, on the other side of things, that younger group on the bench there with Kendra Weiser and, of course, Ellie Schiltz and Lily Demani. So, could be a real top heavy battle here, Ronnie. It could well be. Um, yeah, Sarah Banks is a bit of a huge out. but A bit know, of a huge out? Well, I, I'd say big out, but <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but obviously they're doing the right thing. You, know, they, they don't, you don't want to take any risks in a, in a summer competition like this, I, I guess. Best to rest her up, and once she's 100% healthy, if she's right to go, then play her. But if she's not, I'd, I'd keep her on the pine. Collins, that signature, turn into the lane. Missed that one there. Dad downstairs, yes. Nathan as well, who... Uh, Tried to keep up on uh, on Saturday night with ongoing family traditions. Had a good night himself. Good to see him, the family, uh, very, out. Yes, very good. Of also course. good to hear that Charlotte is on yes. her way home at the end of the month. So, yes. Charlotte, if you're tuning in, we can't wait to uh, have you back. Yes, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to having her back, JB, because we know the uh, spring rosters, there's the foul on the play there. We know the Ooh. spring rosters will be, <laughs> she'll be right she'll be right in the thick of it. Uh, she has been in the thick of it anyway for all the messages uh, that I've, I've been going back and forth with. And what not? 7-1 start here for the Sweaty Bettys. And I am loving the cartoon logos that have been designed up for all sides here. Ronnie brings a, a new dynamic in too. And, of course, we will be looking to slowly just redevelop our scoreboard over the coming yes. weeks with the slow rebranding with Summer Slam. Of course, you can check them out on Instagram as well. Been a great little social media presence. Been a sensational so social media presence. We'll get to that there. Start of the second quarter as well. Kick over. Bone now down the lane. Kick out pass. Rhodes doesn't mind a three. Gets it. Yeah, nice shot there. I'll just reply to the commish, JB. So are all words. Bear, bear, bear with me. Are we all good? <laughs> We're all good. Don't worry. This is. Uh, he's, uh, he's. 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 He's telling me I've done. I've done well uh, with the first game. Absolutely. I wouldn't. Wouldn't doubt that you'd put it out there that someone told you you'd done a good job, Ronnie. <laughs> Nine four our score line. Yeah, there it is. A proverbial pat on the back. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> I won't say anything this time. <laughs> no, you, you've said enough. Mm. Continue on here. Six thirty remaining first quarter. 
Abby Brown pulls up for the 45. Wanted to go off glass, couldn't get that to go. Vanderkamp the pass. Back to back threes for Rhodes. Good. <laughs> Extending that one out by two. Sorry, the margin is cut to two, I should say. It's Coco Aaron now with the ball. Mills with a nice screen there. Wanted to roll into the path of the ball handler. Does. Catches it down low. Gets a second opportunity. Just too big on the glass there as Lauren Mills gets that one to drop. Back to four. Of course, Peel. Backing up, as we mentioned. Browning. Referee as well. Bartlett wanted to kick out. Abby Brown steps aside. Wants that short corner jumper. Can't get that to go. Rhodes, the hot hand, not with that, though. As Collins wants to go inside, was fouled. And that will see her to the line for two. Well, that was good, uh, good work by Pia Rhodes, though, to really, you know... Um Chase back there, and you know when you when you when you when you're going to foul play, you've got a foul player, and uh, you know Rhodes did it in the right way, and um, now Ellie's got to you know, um, try and reward herself here at the line here for a couple. And she can't get that one to go. 11-7 the score line here. Tuning into the. Summer League, Summer Slam coming in. Yes. Eva Schultz and Kendra Visor. Heading out is Brody McCaffrey and Lauren Mills for a spell. See how this one continues to unfold. Sorry, margin 12 7. Scoreboard is up. Rhodes with three straight threes. Oh, she's on fire! She, she is loving it out there, Joe Byrne. She's of course, got nine of their ten points. And of, course, and, of course, Robin would be excited about it too, but he's on score bench tonight, so he's got to try and keep neutral down there, Joe Byrne. Yes, he's got that overlooking on the glasses. Big rebound there, Vanderkamp. Needs some runners. Double teamed early. Needs possession. Gets it out in the way. Rhodes battles great, for it. Great, taps great it away. Job, great job. Wanted to give and go there from Shaq. Brown. Give and go to Bartlett, who wants to go baseline. Rhodes is there again. Shaq's in the lane. Couldn't get that to go. Shaq in the paint, not an uncommon occurrence as Bartlett scores too, but the Shaq we're used to seeing in the paint, Ronnie, a two foot taller. Yeah, about, about that. And uh, good work by Bartlett though to um, be on the boards as well and yeah, finish that put back nicely. Tie ball game here at Lorraine. Collins wants to do oh. something about it and does. Yeah, and that's the Ellie Collins we know and uh, are used to seeing JB. So if she gets that three ball going, uh, again, we could have two good crackers of a game here tonight. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see them hearing the stats are doing remotely tonight, Ronnie. Yes, yes, uh, the uh, commissioner's filled us in saying the boys are working from home tonight. Oh, Rhodes again. Sorry to interrupt. That's a heat check moment. That is. But yes, no, they're, they're at home tonight, so we don't have any access to any stats. Oh, nice pass there by Collins. I thought Bartlett was going to bowl her over there yeah, for a second. Yeah, had to commit the foul there as Aaron will go to the line for two. But that pass there by Collins, risky cross-court of that distance, but she's nailed it. Yeah, you know, paid off, which is which is good. So um, that's that's good to see. So And, of course, Coco Aaron, of course, getting her gold class uh, uh, recognition uh, as well too the BTAS Gala weekend uh, um, uh, this weekend it just went and uh, fantastic to see uh, Coco being recognised for, for her efforts for, a com for consistently uh, being in the state sides uh, over the years and also in the uh, state programs as well too so well done to Coco she's got a big, uh, big up skill and big potential going forward in her basketball journey Margin now at five here. New Taz just wanting to settle. Oh, Wiggins pass. gets in and reads nicely straight to Vanderkamp on the response. No, I'll tell you what, uh, Wiggins will be happy with that. This is the first time I've seen her play in Yonks, JB, because I can't remember when she last played. Yeah, she's had a bit of injury as Vanderkamp stands up straight. However, must have had a slight lean to it. I think it was, yeah, Abby Brown from Abby the Brown side. On the reach. I was yeah. going to say, Vanderkamp looked to be walled up pretty nicely yeah, there. Yeah, basically Brown just kind of... Over committing on the, on the play and um, yeah, just drawing that foul, unfortunately. But good job by Coco Aaron once again, just to find a way to the rim. Vanderkamp battles, just couldn't get that to go. Deflected there by Collins. Shaq coming in. Yeah, Shaq back in, as we mentioned there, those limited rotations right now with James Murray's Utah's side. 19-14, our scoreline. Three and a half for Manning, first term here at the Warren Stadium. Round three of women's action. Second round of streaming for the ladies. Yes. 
Bartlett wants to spin inside, uses the right on the hip well, deflected there, sweaty betties. As Collins now with the coverage, Vanderkamp inside, couldn't get it to go. Battling for it there, that'll be a wrap up. And good, that's probably, um, I mean, it may have very well been Daniel Savile, but Ellie Collins just taking it upon herself there. Who's got the hot hand in this? these sets, I need to be guarding them. Yeah, you got to recognise out there who's got the hot hand and who doesn't, JB, and then you've got to put your best defender on that person. So Speaking of opening the corner, Rhodes, three. She's had a couple of errant ones since then. Speaking of Erin, that's Coco. Pops that shot off like the cereal itself as Collins gets inside, step through, fading, couldn't get that to go. Visor just bodied there, couldn't get it. Good contest with the jump ball, though. Yeah, no, good work. Good work by both teams here. And right now, it's just a matter of, well, who can kind of time out? So who can kind of keep a hot hand, so to speak? And then who can we change it up to if that person's um, hot hand can't um, relate as well, too? As, yes, Jacob needs, a, needs to have a bit of a seat. I need to have a bit of a drink of water, actually. Time out here. <laughs> JB will uh, do, do something. Absolutely. Time out here. 2.55 remaining first term. You are tuning in to... Chargers TV coverage of the 2023 Summer League. Tassie Summer Slam, ladies and gentlemen, as we continue to push through here. Of course, as we mentioned, um, go ahead and check them out on Instagram. They're doing a heap of work right now. Absolutely. You'll be able to find Player of the Week. You'll be able to find nominations for it. You'll be able to find highlights. Big thank you to JD Sports, uh, who have been providing the... Um, Providing the player of the week with a nice yeah. pair of kicks, Ronnie. Good Absolutely. See some interesting Jeez, shoes floating around we there. We wouldn't mind a pair of new kicks. I go, I'm going to be honest with you, Ronnie. You and I getting out there playing, it's not happening. <laughs> okay, fair of enough. Of course, the mission of the Tassie Summer Slam is to provide a platform for all former, current, prospective NBA All One players to compete and grow during the spring summer season. We're here to grow basket, the basket, for growing basketball community connections, purposeful off season engagement, igniting player and community excitement, enhancing player recognition, empowering exposure for rising talent progressing university basketball, retaining positive role models and players, further referee development, of course, leveraging social media opportunities, the Tasmania basketball community connection and experience. Tassie SummerSlam, check them out on Instagram. And yes. they've been doing a mountain of work. They have. It's been good. It's been good seeing the content go up, JB. And uh, no, thoroughly enjoying what they've been uh, posting. Great to have everyone involved. Just overplayed there was Wiggins. Of course, Ronnie's had some injury battles over the last 12 months in and out. She's played some really good basketball, of course, her under-22 yes. season, uh, her junior season, her under-19 season the last year. Uh, pivotal, a very good athlete is Amy. She's a very yeah. well-known track competitor as Aaron gets the first yeah, go. Yeah, no, Amy's a pretty good runner. And, uh, yeah, you know, she's pr provided some, some good stuff for our, for our basketball journey as well too. So great to see her back back out here. And uh, uh, she, she a lovely uh, young young lady uh, off the floor as well too, Chobe. We know her well. And uh, does some good work around uh, the uh, Swisher Cafe as well too in a, on her weekends. Yes, absolutely. Picking up a part-time job. Bartlett. Picking up the dribble part-time. Goes up with the right. Went to finish with the left. Aaron battling between Vanderkamp and Bone. Gets through both. Runs into some trouble there, but gives to Collins on the transition Damn. and nails it. And they just, they're just they just continuing to pour on the points here. I just don't know where uh, Utah's... Nice gonna... defence there by Visor on the uh, on the baseline there. Deserves U to be rewarded. Utah's need to find a better way of coming back in this ball game right now. Down 12 early here. This is not what you want be after what was such a good start early on, JB. Yeah, tending to look really favourable to those that have already scored the basketball. Not really changing much there. Yes. Vanderkamp now wants to seal inside there by Bartlett. Entry pass isn't there. That's a really looping skip pass. Visor competing, trying to stay in front. Does. Rhodes has to put up another big shot. Two Utah's people competing for a rebound. Only one set of hands between them. Still couldn't grab it. Other way there for Sweaty Betty's. Final two minutes here of this first quarter. Tuning in to the 2023 Hobart Chargers Summer League. Tassie Summer Slam here on Chargers TV. Aaron Shock goes up there. Sweaty Betty's. Visor having a good couple of minutes here. Long two. Collins back iron, no good. Third opportunity here. The Sweaty Bettys have to capitalise. Collins turning, fading, blocked there by Vanderkamp. Good defence here. Rhodes warned. Look out. They're on their case. 90 seconds to go. Rhodes kick out. Wiggins, corner. Three. 
You'd like to think it was a pass. It wasn't, though. It's was Aaron now with the ball. Let's just see. Above the break for E. Schultz follows through and nails it. And that's a good shot for E, but that will do her confidence nicely. She's been a bit of a you know, um, up and down form patch as. Okay, Butler just throwing something towards the bench. Probably a loose bit of tape, maybe, yeah, a bit of strapping. Like a, look like something there. It's a pink colour, Joe, mate. Yeah, it certainly be. But, uh, but with Schultz, that, that shot will do it a world of confidence there, and now, now she should be able to get herself into the game nicely. That's been good defence there by Visor. She's had a good couple of minutes just pinch hitting mm. there on the rebounds and the steals. Demany on the drive wants to thread the needle. Accidentally goes to look to be off. No, was judged off the sweaty Betty's there by referee Browning. Looping pass there. Bartlett accepts, threads the needle. Risky across the court there. And all of a sudden, this game's getting out of hand quickly for Utahs if they're not careful. Down 15 early. Bartlett wants to go inside. Dump down there to Shaq. Out to Rhodes, who gets inside. Goes the step through, back to Shaq. They're chasing him around in circles. Couldn't get that to go. Collins saves it. 15 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Sweaty Betty's wanting to add to the scoreboard. Collins goes inside. Nice defense there. Looked to be taken by Bartlett. It was Rhodes. Square up three. Puts up another shot. She's three or six from deep. Couldn't make the most of them yet. Needs to go up quickly. Oh, won't Vanderkamp. count. Vanderkamp with a steal, but it won't matter. No. Quarter time. 29 14. It's all one way traffic with the Sweaty Betty's. Yeah, it is, JB. And, and right now, they're just, you know, Collins on fire. Coco Aaron doing her thing as well, too. You know, Schultz able to get a couple of points there as well. So, you know, and good defence down there in the floor, really holding, you know, Utah to 14 points. So defensively, as Chobe knocks that one down. Colby. <laughs> as, uh, um, you know, again, on the defence end, you know, the, the Sweaty Bettys are doing a fantastic job. But Utah's need to really now, you know, I'm sure James Murray will make some adjustments and get these girls back on track. You are tuning in to the 2023 Summer League, the Tassie Summer Slam here on Chargers TV. A big thank you to Total Denture Care Clinics, our major broadcast sponsor for the round. Ronnie, limited rotations, different personnel again this week. There's no Taylor Roberts. There's yeah. no Maddie Stratzma. It has to have some sort of impact when you've only got one key rotation and on top of that, you're lacking height and size that particularly would be competing with the likes of Collins on the glass. Well, I feel like they're a little bit undermanned, JB, and, um, you know, they're trying their best out there, and that's all you can ask for, really, in, in these type of situations. I think sometimes you have to look at the bigger picture and go, well, OK, you don't really want to walk in and say we're going to lose this game, but what we do want to walk into is, you know, we're going to compete on every play, we're going to try and hustle, we're going to try and play hard. You know, we're going to try to make sure that we do everything right where we can in the circumstances of our team personnel. So, you know, if, again, if they, give, they gave good effort and commitment on, in that first quarter, it was just some, some bad turnovers and not the best of looks at, at, at times. I felt like they turned down a couple of looks as well too. So really now it's just a matter of, you know, can we get some small wins and just chip away at this margin and let's just worry about the first five minutes of this quarter, then we'll worry about the last five. We'll see how this one continues to unfold as the second term gets underway here on Chargers TV. Ronnie and JB, as always, Bartlett goes inside, couldn't get it to go. Defence by Mills. Whereas Coco Aaron with the ball handling duties here. Second term, good pinch pass there. Demany, corner, shot, taken. That was Neve Ball, couldn't get that to go. Rhodes was three or six from deep there in the first term. And we'll look to catch fire once again. Margin is at 15 already. There's Wiggins back out there. Shaq Bone. Goes to thread the needle and just deflected. Rhodes wanted a cutter. Shaq wanted a three. They didn't want a turnover and that's exactly what they got. Mills. Aaron. Three. Splash! It's a big three by Coco and... Um yeah, nice look, nice look, good ball movement there, and Coco finishing that one nicely for us. Margin at 18 already, really threatening to get out of hand. As Bartlett wanted to go herself, lost the handle, taken away. Demany has a break, has assist if she wants it. Goes Mills, pop up 17 feet, couldn't get that. 
Rebound taken away. Aaron who threads the needle. And that'll be an offensive foul drawn by Shaq Bone. It looks like Bridie might have just kind of gave a, gave a small shove on the way through. What yeah, a sense of it. A little bit too much there. And that's something, Ronnie, we've seen Shaq play for quite a time now as uh, Wiggins heads for a spell. But we've seen Shaq for quite a time, Ronnie, make mm. an absolute living um, defensively by drawing those offensive fouls. And sometimes when you know that, you know, your offensive game is not your main strength and your defensive game is, really it's, it's good to see players sacrificing a fair bit um, for not only uh, to, to be more of a threat on the defensive end, to help your team do whatever it needs to. This passing execution by Utahs right now is certainly not what James Murray would be looking for. Racking up the turnovers. And right now at a margin of 18, extra possessions is not what the Sweaty Bettys wants. That's a good start defensively there by Bartlett. Wants a runner. Gives it out to Brown. Frustrated in the sense as Brown pulls up from the mid-range and the jumper. Couldn't get that to go. Didn't want to attack. Didn't have the support. As you can see, the defence slowly prodding back now into the offensive side of the Sweaty Bettys. They are running as a wall, Ronnie. They certainly are. They're, again, they're really in sync with each other, and they're really you know, finding a way on both ends of the floor, except for that one where they ball just walked into a bit of traffic there and caused herself a turnover. Yeah, travel foul there on ball. On ball with the ball, fell over with the ball. Yep. <laughs> As they're needing to get transition now. Newtaz wanting to get into a set, Ronnie, but I do just wonder, and there's the takeaway there. Erin will go to the cup yeah. for two, you would assume. Yeah, good hands by Coco. Really good really good play by her. And, um, yeah, well-deserved basket there. But this is becoming a lot tougher now for you, Taz. Yeah, and it's just little things like this. I mean, foul there by Demany, but it is little things. I mean, and we saw the one thing that Hobart were eventually able to do. I'll reference State League for this point, Ronnie. Yeah. When they're wanting to throw an entry pass like that or get it into the lane, they're working angles to do it. You saw the frustration that clearly came about from the players when they yes. weren't, which was resulting in this kind of play. Vanderkamp oh, from 17 feet. Bartlett, second opportunity, has passing options. Doesn't, goes herself, nice ball fake. I think Bartlett will need to see a little bit more of the ball down low as well too, JB, or she'll need to have a little bit more of the ball because we know that when she's in that aggressive type mode, she can she can be a threat offensively. So I think she needs to see a bit more of the ball. On top of that as well, it's enough, it, it's enough to want the ball as Ball, and by name and nature, couldn't get that to go. As Ball goes down, went to draw contact. Nice thread inside. It's enough to want the ball, but it's being in the right position to receive the ball, which is yeah. something I have to work on as well as Visor, who had nice pinch hitting minutes, comes in, and Collins back to make an impact. Well, it's this right place, right time, and we kind of saw that in the uh, first game, JB, where, you know, um, players from Team Swisher were doing, you know, the right things, and you had Stein, the likes of Steinle and, and Co. Um, rewarding them by being in the right place at the right time. So if you get it right then, you know, that passing ability certainly pays off. This really is exactly the time now for Utahs to capitalise those sweaty betties have just hit a wall offensive, offensively. An errant pass there by Rhodes just seemed to float it, and that'll be a travelling violation for yeah, Bright- defence there yeah, by Brown. Yeah, Brighty just taking one too many steps, but and good defence by Utahs there to really stop that. It'll be interesting to see just how they go, because, as you mentioned, Ronnie, it's all right to get make sure the opposition's not scoring, but if you're failing to get points on the board yourself, you're negating any effort. Absolutely. Shaq, corner, Rhodes for a fourth of the game, makes it. Yeah, and that'd be good. After, you know, Peters went for that cold patch, hopefully this will be the start of a um, hot patch now. Still shooting 50% from deep, four of eight, yeah. nothing to scoff at. No, no, definitely not. No, sometimes you will have those, you know, couple minutes or fa- phases and games where you will go a little cold, but then you'll find it back again. Collins just too good down low. Yeah, that's a nice move that we've seen Ellie do time and time again, JB. So that's just vintage Ellie Collins right there. Nice kick out pass. That's better ball movement there by Utah's as Rhodes just takes the contact. But it, it, asked Alrighty it, McCaffrey how she's going. Not too well after that. No, it's good good ride of the contact and really good finish on the play as well, too, wasn't it? Controlled shot. Well, sorry, was controlled shot off glass. Margin at 15 now. Good thread down low, just good defence there by Visor. And good finish there by Vanderkamp, just couldn't get it to go. Had the right moves. Since both sides just tiring a little bit with this backwards and forwards action. Nice cut there by Visor, deserves points. Couldn't get it, battles for her own rebound though, which is nice. Wants to go herself again, can't. That is a legitimate shot attempt. Goes third time effort again. And that is just hustle and effort there by Vice. Yeah, it is. And uh, good work by Kendra there just to, you know, stay with it. Didn't give up on the play, competed, able to get her own rebound and then, you know, finish, still finish at the rim. 
Very nice there. Rhodes pulls up, couldn't get that to go. Mills with the rebound, wants runners, has Collins. Now she's just going to go down the middle, given plenty of options there, but wants to go herself, and why not? Yeah. This is a bit it's like casual as you like on a Monday, just find your way through nicely there by Ellie Collins. Yeah, you would think at this point, a time, surely a timeout maybe from James Murray. That was a little too aggressive yeah, there by Ball. Let's see. Let's see if we'll see if Robin makes any signals here. No, sub signals he's, he's made. So uh, now we'll see Eva Schultz back in. And, and he does want oh, a timeout. Now, That's exactly what I thought he would do. There timeout there by Utahs. They have seen enough of this, and why not? Probably squandered a couple of opportunities there to really work through a stagnant period there for the Bettys, but they've managed to actually regain some purpose and form. We need to get you a chair, Ronald. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay. I then. think Piper's looking for no, a no, chair. No, no, no. Piper's just stealing all the chairs. Yeah, Piper's just... She's stuck. smart. She's got the, she's got the uh, umpire's chair at the tennis, and she's watching everything Absolutely, from upstairs. Absolutely, yes. 40-21, Ronnie. 4.38 remaining here, second term, and Sweaty Betty's able to weather that bad run they had and look like they're back on form here to uh, potentially... Make an interesting margin of it at half time. Yeah, well, I mean, they'll need to kind of, you know, I think for you, Tess, though, they'll need to really just work their way back into this ball game. Um, but again, when you're undermanned a little bit, it makes it a little bit tougher here. And some some key outs, some key outs right now um, for that team. But you know, I feel I feel like they're competing. I feel like they're, you know, I feel like they're doing a pretty good job on both ends of the, or on both ends of the floor. Did you just Again, hurt yourself sitting down? No, 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 no. You no. are old. <laughs> but um, they they're certainly, you know, they're certainly doing a good job as far as, you know, as far as competing in that is concerned. They, they're giving it all. The only thing is they're just making some errant passes. Turnovers would be a big issue, and just consistently. Just haven't been knocking down their knocking down their shot as much as they've had a couple of individuals have a good kind of good patch and run here. So, oh well, excuse me, but for Sweetie Betty, he said, you know, I feel like they're doing a pretty good job right now controlling this ball game. You are tuning in to the 2023 Summer League Tassie Summer Slam here on Chargers TV. Of course, today brought to you by Total Dental Care Clinics. Shout out to Tristy and Ferg for that one there. Sensational work. And there's a really early opportunity there in the clock for Utahs. Couldn't get that to go. Sweaty Betty's wanted to get back out to 20 again. Collins pulls up easy as you like. Fires. Really easy rebound, though, for the Sweaty Betty's. Oh. As Visor has to try and save it. Does. Taken away there. Intent is there. Wanting to get inside. Bartlett an option. Shaq above the break three now. Flatter's attack. Couldn't get that to go. Good face up there early by Rhodes. Let's see whether the defense can hold up here for Utah's ball through sets of hands. Hold the layup to Schiltz. Sorry, holds the hand up to Schiltz. Rhodes again now. Transition gets that one over the top. That's a nice weighted pass, but just couldn't get that to go. It was Wiggins. Back to a track meet a little bit here in this opening minute. Nice bake there by Schiltz. Goes to Collins. Ellie by name, movement by nature. Mills like Patty. Couldn't get that to go. As Brown lets that go to Bone. Isolation there by Abby Brown. Goes inside to Rhodes as she gets position. Bartlett, ball fake. Was never going to take that one. Brown will, though. Nice ball movement and good result for Utahs. Yeah, no, that's that's a shot that they badly needed, JB. So, uh, good work by Abby Brown there to knock that one down. And hopefully that just sparks a little bit more energy and confidence here for Utahs. Let's see how this one can continue to push through. 16 the difference. Kick out pass, McCaffrey three, back iron no good. Battling for the boards there, Bartlett gets it off hands. Final three minutes here, first half of our second game. Swisher getting the win over Real Fit by six in our first. Back to back by Abby Brown, maybe she's got the hot hand to bring them back. Yeah, absolutely, and we know Abby Brown can get on a bit of a tear too, JB. So if she can find that hot hand, as you mentioned, look out. She won't tire either, well conditioned. Right now is Abby peak pre-season for her. But Collins, just that savvy as Pia Rhodes asking questions of referee Peel. Utah's just needing to get some movement here. Defense by Schultz. Wanting some relocation. Good entry pass, Bartlett. Schultz doing her best. 
as Bartlett forces the issue, going to the line for two, and this will be good for Leah Bartlett. Just see that ball go through the net. Yeah, good veteran play there by Leah Bartlett, just working the, the youngster in, in, in Eva there, just to you know, force Eva to drop those arms a little bit, which is enough for the referee to call foul. So, um, yeah, right now, a little bit of a run here. So, again, you know, when, you, when you're down in these situations, sometimes you just got to think targets and where you'd like to be at, at certain points within a quarter. Um, I feel like I'm, I, now, now I, again, we don't have a mic down there with James Murray, but I would assume, you know, you just kind of set small targets, say, let's get to this by this point, let's get to that by this point, and, and vice versa. So right now... Mini goals that we talk about yeah, all the time. Yeah, mini here. goals. And so 15 down, make that uh, still 15 down. So right now, they, they, you know, you want to try and get it back to, say, 10, 10 by, by half time and you know, you keep them by 40 and keep them at 42. So you really want to be defensively locked in here for the next two minutes. Dairy beefs for everybody off that free throw effort. Inside there. Mismatch there. Entry pass not great, though. Three-point bomb from Utaz. That's cleaning glass. Margin still at 15. Sweaty Betty's wanting to make another surge in this final 100 or so seconds. Get this one back out to 20. Collins threads inside. Visor again has played a great role off the bench and gets more points. Yeah, no, she's done well. And, and you know, Visor's just working her way nicely into the game and finding it, finding herself in the right spots. Good good work by head coach Daniel Sable as well too, just to get her into those right spots to make things happen for her. Just, again, fronted and defended was... Oh, that one couldn't go by Brown. Did everything but go in, Joe. Bartlett with a defender either side wasn't able to capture that pass. It's good effort there. Sweaty Betty's thread the needle there. Turning, fading, and that's about all the hopes and dreams were of that shot. Oh, Rhodes with a cross up. Hello. Kick out. Brown squaring up. Oh, nice read inside. Wiggins deserves points. Bartlett cleans up the scraps. Eventually fouled. And it is just constant. Hustle and effort here by Utaz. The one thing I will give them, though, Ronnie, we do talk about second, third opportunities yes. all the time. While they're not necessarily getting the basket on that third opportunity, they are going to the line and giving themselves every chance to uh, score. Oh, absolutely. They're, they're working their way nicely there, JB. And Bartlett was pretty upset with herself not making the... Um not making the basket. I think I could read lips on that, on the frustration when she um, words said we can probably not use on air, JB. So, um, you know, again, Utah's working hard right now, but the uh, target that they're probably wanting to look for here at the moment is, an, is in a bit of serious jeopardy here. Well, they need to be within 10 at the half, you would think. Drive down low. Collins just too much down low. So yeah. from what was a prospective 10-point difference is now looking at 20 points already heading to the half again. Yeah, I just feel like, again, good control by the Sweaty Bettys, and they're just going to keep... Um, oh, Abby Brown! Abby Brown. You know, She's been the scoring effort in the second term here. I was going to say, if unless Abby Brown has different ideas, which we hope so, then look out. Drive couldn't go down there. Back on transition for you, Taz. As Bartlett barreling into the defence. Rhodes cleaning up, so just a mini run here. Yeah, 15. I, 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 mm. You would ideally want 10 at the half. Ideally 10. If you can get it back to, oh, I mean, if you, oh, no, no way. <laughs> back iron, hesitant. Now, you want to score on this possession, so you want to get either. This is back your to, last possession. Get it, back to, get it back to 13 or 12 here, one or the other. Don't rush the play. Utah's with all of it. Oh. Demani barrels in. Good defense there, forces it. Shaq above the break for three. Can't get that to go. Rebound taken away. Ball threads it ahead. And there was a foul on that one. And that'll be just the first foul for Utah's this quarter. Oh, they've done well not to foul in this quarter. Extremely yet. well. Mm. Unprecedentedly well. <laughs> Needs to get a shot up. Goes to Collins. Back. Fire. Flat as attack. Caught the front of the rim. That is half time. 46-31 our scoreline. Margin at 15. And again, you can just sense there are a couple of stagnant periods there. Utah's was certainly going to look to try and take advantage of, but unfortunately just kept running into the wall. Yeah, absolutely. Did you bring your own water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want one? No, I'm good. Okay. Oh, so I brought, everyone, I brought, I brought one for, for, for Jacob oh, if he didn't bring any. Tell but. you what, mate, this is the nicest he's ever been on broadcast. <laughs> I can assure you that. 15 points, Ronnie, as we mentioned. Yes. We've got a bit of an extended half time here, but just you just have to feel there are a couple of moments there Utah's got... Got um, the Sweaty Betty's in a bit of a rut. Had a chance to capitalise. Had a couple of trips to the line. Had a couple of open looks. Just couldn't get points on the board. Well, I felt like they were they were 
asking more questions than giving answers, really. Um, you Which know, is not what they need to be doing in those no, situations. No, that's, that's right, JB. So, you know, again, again, it was just those, you know, opportunities where I think they found them but couldn't capitalise on them. <laughs> Excuse me. So... Right now, Sweetie Betty's doing a really good job of just controlling this ball game, keeping it at a double-digit bu- buffer, which you want. And Utahs are finding it hard to just climb their way back into this ball game right now. So um, Utahs will need to dig deep in this second half here. Um, but you know, we've seen we've seen some some good things happen in in you know in the first part of the third quarter. So if Utahs can get on a run here, provide some scoreboard pressure, limit. Um, the touches of Ellie Collins and uh, Coco Aaron, I feel like, and then, you know, you've got to try, and just be aware of uh, Kendra Beiser, because she's a bit of a, you know, she's, um, you know, that um, that dark horse, so to speak, right now. Well, she's doing all the hard work. work. She's getting the rebound. She's scrapping yeah. for the ball. And, she, and, and I just feel and like... And she's being rewarded. Absolutely. And I feel like sometimes you might underestimate a role player like that because it's like, oh... You know, she shouldn't be getting the ball as much. Well, you're allowing that because you're, you know, you're not focusing on your defense um, as as well as what you should be. So, if they can minimise all that, I feel like there's there's a, there's a run in run in them where we can get this back within say single digits, and then we've got a ball game on our hands here. Let's see how the fight back goes. You are tuning in to Chargers TV and the 2023 Summer League Tassie Summer Slam. And, of course, is brought to you round three. The Women's Tassie Summer Slam is proudly sponsored by Total Denture Care Clinics, their family-owned clinics in Kingston, Sorrell and Newtown, offer personalised denture solutions to keep your smile shining. Thank you to Andrew and Tristy Ferguson and the team at Total Denture Care. And Total Denture Care have been doing a lot of work in the community for quite some time. Of course, you can catch up on all the action, not only on the Hobart Chargers Facebook page, but you can also catch up on all the action there on the Tassie SummerSlam Instagram. Yes. They've been doing a lot of good work, Ronnie, of course. Yeah, absolutely. As we look through different things in relation to highlights and plays and everything like that. Yes, hello, Rita. Thank you, Rita. Bye, Rita. Don't disturb the broadcast. broadcast. Thank (laughs) you. (laughs) Good grief. Second half on away, Ronnie. Yes. And we'll see what can come of it here. Wanting to set the tone early. They do. I'll pick it up later. Yep, that was Kobe in the 98 playoffs, <laughs> not Kobe in the 09 regular season. That's right. Nothing but net there for the Sweaty Betty's to open the third term. Nice start there. No. It's not a bad look by Rhodes on that on that play. Just a bit, bit left on that shot, though. Just looking to play through. And second opportunity once again. The Sweaty Betty's have just come out and started as they mean to go on here. And they get it out to 20 already. Absolutely. It's all right, Ronnie. I've checked. We're up. We're you okay. D- you d- don't worry about the stream. I've got the stream. All right. No worries. <laughs> we will get through. Again. Until we get some sort of full stagnation. But no, scores are updating. Everything's going through. Oh, there you go. That's all right then. Maybe oh, Banner Camp nearly got that one to go. Probably just a few other people that are on the Wi-Fi potentially. Nice. Oh, I reckon so. Shot there again. Couldn't get that to go. Heat check moment. Look to continue to work through here. 51-31, Ronnie. So back out to 20 already. This is not the start Utah's wanted. No. But they've had a couple of good looks already. Just haven't been able to knock it down. Then, oh. Don't know. I'm going to be honest with you. I have no clue what they were doing there. No, I'm not sure why Bartlett and Bandicap were trying to team up on that play. I just Bartlett thought, had the inside shot. Yeah, she did. I don't know why she didn't take it. Good grief. That's, not, that's, not, that's nothing against Bandicap. The, uh, the better shot would have been that, in, that inside, inside play. Couldn't get that to go. Collins, high pick and roll, doesn't matter. Step back three. Ow! Oh! <laughs> Ellie Collins are just continuing that good form, JB. Nasty stuff for the Sweaty Betties. They lead by 23 points very early on in the third term, and there is no sign of them slowing down at all here. No. Bartlett with a chance. She's covered well, though. Goes inside of the D. Couldn't get that to go. Collins with an easy takeaway. And really uninterrupted as she goes down the lane. Lucky that pass was picked off. Very lackadaisical in her transition. Rhodes wanting to get through. Caught some contact there. Driving wide. Gets in. Draws contact oh, and one. Nice, nice finish, Pia Rhodes. Yeah, great great take by Pia there. Strong and aggressive to the basket. And I think that's what Utah will need to do in the second half. Just be aggressive to the rim. Try and really draw some fouls on the defensive end. So let's see what happens here for Pia on this uh, three-point play. 
opportunity to bring it back. Oh no, no good, no good. But again, good, good take and drive though. Yes, the effort was there. And Sweaty Betty's get the defence in the air. They split, they go through. Couldn't get that to go. Rebound Rhodes. Over the top there. Bartlett again. Wants to go herself. Does. Kick out pass. Brown, three. Looked okay on the screen, but I can tell you now, ladies and gentlemen, it certainly was not. Collins recovers. Three on two option. Trailing is Demany. Collins wants to go inside. Good defence by Rhodes and was fouled. And Rhodes just wanders away. Collins with a slight, well... Look at disagreement. Goes to the line for two. Substitutions as Schultz comes in. You are tuning in to the Tassie Summer Slam. Hobart Chargers TV here for the Summer League. Brought to you by Total Denture Care Clinics. Big thank you out to Andrew and Tristy and the team. Yes. Who are big supporters of ours personally as well, Ronnie, as we know. They love tuning in and had yep. a nice... Uh, had some good interactions with them over the weekend there. Absolutely. Tristy, the team manager for the winning Hobart team. Yes. Winning the State League. Yes. And fair, fair, fair to say that Hobart were a very happy team besides, well, that, that will count. No, no that offen- was a hook. Oh, offensive foul. I was just going to say, you know, I, I believe one person on the Hobart team was not happy that medall- winning championship medallions were not given out. Yes, and I believe that individual's only just gotten out of bed to be here tonight. Yes, apparently so. Might have only scored two points, a social media reporter, but he did, get away. <laughs> yeah. he did come away with the State there League was, Championship. There was some interesting banter there on the uh, social media, JB, when I read it. Absolutely, is Brown, Rhodes, corner, three, back iron, no good. Mills, saving, Schultz, saves again, dribble, away from Vanderkamp. Up near our broadcast side here. Aaron looking to relocate. Schultz wanting to go herself. Gets that one to drop, no, Eva Schultz. Good drive by Eva. Really good drive there. And, um, you know, again, she needs to keep being aggressive. I feel like for her personally, JB, she need, at this level, she really needs to take the game by the scruff of the neck and take, a, take the opportunities where it presents it. Shot there, Bartlett. Three, no good. That one will just trickle out of bounds. And... and I know. I mean, I know. I know. We know Eber well, and we know the family quite well. You know, all being Queenstown people, but you know, just for a non-biased opinion here, to to really upskill her game, she ha- at this level, really take advantage of your opportunities. Don't turn down those opportunities, and really just be aggressive and strong at the rim. We know she can do that, and it's just a matter of her getting that confidence. Rhodes trying to draw, draw the defence oh. there. Easy as you like for Bartlett. Gets that one to go. That's been the best look by Utahs probably for the quarter. Absolutely. And then Bartlett was able to just, well, she fooled everyone there really, JB, and then just get an easy layup like so. Aaron picks it up. No Collins on the court right now. So it's just second opportunities here. Wanted to get that to go. No rebounder there. Transition. Drive there, acrobatic attempt on glass. That'll send Bartlett to the line again. I feel like with Collins being on the bench as well too, JB, you know, maybe for UTAS, that might be the pressure release that they're looking for. You know, when one of their major players uh, is off, that's an opportunity where, you know, UTAS can take advantage here and really just go go for it. Could have made free throws though, Bartlett misses that one. Yes, you know, and I, again, Bartlett was, again, good, aggressive to the rim, some acrobatic shot that she, she put in there, but... You know, but as I say, free, as you say, free throw shooting must count in this game right now, and that's not really counting for Utah. Good shooter makes free throws, there's no doubt about it. Anyone who's able to shoot a free throw is generally a decent indicator of how they are as a shooter overall. Efficient score nonetheless. 22 points of margin. Sweaty Betty straight inside to Bartlett, who saves that one, picks up the dribble. Saves to Rhodes. Bit of a two-man game seemed to be flowing through at the moment here for Utahs. Primarily Bartlett and Rhodes. Mm. As Bar Rhodes wants to go on the flutter herself. Couldn't get that to go. Taken away on the transition here. Schultz with the ball handling duties. Wanting to go to work. As Mills, you can see him grabbing the jersey there. Oh, Eva Schultz, come on down. Yes, and that, again, opportunity presented. Really good on ball. Took the shot because they went under the screen. Eva made them pay. Bartlett wanting to go herself again. Thread to Vanderkamp, who drags that from behind, but misses that one. Needs another shot, does. Bartlett wants to split through the defence. Kick it to Rhodes. Unconventional. Had further support in the corner there in Wiggins. Didn't use it. 
But forcing their way to the line here, Utahs again. As Visor and Shaq Bone head in. Eliza heading for another spell. And heading out Neve Ball for a break. Oh, Nathan Collins, he kicked the shoes off from him. He's having a hell of a time down there. Absolutely. Just kick him back. Good luck with the tinnier if you're <laughs> scoring at home, as that one's made the first there for Rhodes. If only we had the bar open upstairs. Ronnie, after our weekend, <laughs> but the thing could probably stay closed and financially viable for two years at the chance. <laughs> That's right, JP. As Rhodes goes one or two, margin at 23 now. Going through passing there. Visor had a really good first half, scrapping through in the minutes that she had. Drive taken, prayer put up, not answered, deflected. Bartlett again, chased by McCaffrey. As she settles, kick over pass. Suddenly the soundproof of the broadcast has disappeared again. Taken away on the drive there. So what if it is? You get that to go. Coco Aaron there on the drive, Ronnie. Yeah, no, good take by Coco. Again, they're now just well in control of this game. Right now, I feel like you know, Utah's have to just you know, get back to some simple structure, play through some good, good sets of hands, finish strong, and just kind of find positives now in the second half to really take out of the game. Brownell had to find the middle of the floor a little too easy as a drink bottle hits the deck. Nice take away by the Bettys who want an outlet pass, and they go directly to McCaffrey on the drive. She slows down short corner, and they're way into a set too quickly here, the Sweaty Bettys. Catch and shoot, McCaffrey free, that was short. Gets her own rebound though, way too much space on the glass. Timeout. Timeout by Jason Murray, he has seen enough. And why not, margin is at 27 points. And the Sweaty Bettys just continue to pile it on and take advantage of their chances, Ronnie. Yeah, no box out on that last play, JB. That's inexcusable if you're the defence and just allowing Bridey McCaffrey there to... Uh, yeah, get her own rebound and, and score. So really, right now, as I, as I mentioned, I think now you just look at, at small wins, small positives on each possession, and what can you take out of the second half? Uh, you know, I think the game is certainly well without a reach. <coughs> Excuse me. is well out of reach now, so just play with a little bit of pride now and, and play with some passion as well too, and I think... Um, you know, just get through, to next, get through to next week. Well, the easiest way to put it in layman's terms, Ronnie, as we do, you've got to outscore at this point your opponents by 28 points. You've only scored 36, and you're banking on them not doing a thing after putting in what's going to yeah. be close to 70 points in three quarters. I'm not great at maths, but the uh, the equation doesn't agree favourably there with you. No, Tansy. no, it certainly doesn't, JB. So as I mentioned, I think you, yeah, you got to. No, no, I mean, you know, um, uh, us as coaches, we kind of know in the back of our mind. I think we would probably ex just accept the defeat, and now we would just focus on the little things. What what can we do better? Setting, getting yeah. through structure, yeah. focusing on your defence. Yep. Absolutely, JB. So we'd just be focusing on the, the smaller things like that now, and. You know, trying to work, you know, it would be good if we can work it, work it back to a respectable margin. That's always going to be the case in, in any kind of situation like this. So it's just a matter of now, yeah, going, how do we go about that? For Total Dental Care Clinics, round three of our Women's Summer League, Tassie Summer Slam here on Chargers TV. Ronnie, JB and Jacob, as always, throughout our season. Yes, the media team in the building. Sweaty Betty seem to be pressing up a little bit defensively here. They really want to apply the clamps and get this one over and done with. Still 13 or so minutes left in the game. Three minutes or so in the quarter. Abby Brown forced to pick up that there, and that's a nice deflection. Keeping up appearances there was Aaron, as Ball, Demanion, and Collins are on the bench. Dumped down there. Rhodes above the break. Double screen, miscommunication. Need the ball up, they do. Wiggins floater, no good. Mills has fumbled that one out of bounds. Got to grab the basketball line. Just, yeah, not bad, she says. <laughs> Which fielding team was she watching for at the World Cup, Joe? Oh, that was unkind, Ronnie. <laughs> I wasn't going to bring up the fact that there was a doctored pitch to 93,000 people against an undefeated team that choked in a World Cup final. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't going to mention it. Oh, okay, JB, no worries. Abby Brown misses that one there. Corralled in by Aaron on the break on the opposite side there in the score bench. They're looking to get this one out to 30 here, Sweaty Betty's. Been a massive game for them so far. 
Wanted the give and go there. Doesn't matter. Schultz wanted the option as well. Hesitates nicely. Finds that short corner. Good play. Heads up by Eva Schultz. Visor saves that one again. Kick out pass. Finds Aaron for the three. 30 oh. point margin. Coco just. Uh, and Visor again, Ronnie. I yeah. know Coco hits the shot, but Visor, another heads up play. Yeah, no, she's. Oh, oh that's oh, a big, big screen. screen. Now, who's, that's going to be on Bizer for pushing through the screen. Yeah, it did just work a little hard there. Yeah. I, mean, I don't think neither her or Wiggins are going to be um, going to be knocking anyone over with a stiff breeze, so to speak, there. But uh, when two bodies of a similar size <laughs> run in, yeah. it's going to hurt. Yeah, it will. But hey, good good basketball IQ by Kendra Bizer today. You know, finding Coco on that open shot. And again, if we're talking about a play of the game right now, she'd be right up there in... Um, in boating, because, yeah, I, don't um, think, I don't think points are reflective of her effort. No, really. no, she's she's doing a really good team game, finding her teammates, giving assists, and then she's been rewarding herself throughout by scoring a few points. So, no, right now she's playing a good overall team game. Another set of missed free throws for Utahs, and now they're out in transition here, Sweaty Betty's as well. Three on three, kick out pass there. Erin wanted another one, didn't use it. Went to now, nice ball fake there, Collins. Kick out, pass, McCaffrey, three, has passed that one there. Now, was that off Abby Brown? It was. Yes. Minute 46 remaining third term. Margin still at 30. 5-1 foul count, too. So, Utah certainly could be barreling to the line a bit more and converting. Haven't been able to. Visor went to go inside. Mills intercepted that one. She battles for her own rebound, goes to get that. Deflected out. Aaron again with the ball. Threads inside. Mills too small. That'll be three seconds in the lane, maybe, or no a reaching foul. foul. Uh, foul on Bandicam. Yeah, too much pushing and shoving down there for Kale Browning. That'll be their second foul of the quarter. They've only had three in two quarters though, as well. And that one's taken by Daniel Saville. He wants to have a look at things, wants to get a set here. Minute 35 to go, third term. Tassie Summer Slam here. The Summer League for 2023 on Chargers TV, brought to you by Total Dench Clear Clinics. I assume they'll just come out with a... and try and draw up a play or something here, JB, and... And whatnot, so we'll uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, sometimes it's a little bit tough to call when it's 30 points to margin and 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 whatnot. But you know, again, you just can't allow too many. Kind of, you need to be a little bit more disciplined on the defensive end. I mean, Bannercamp probably needs to probably do just. She probably needs to just back off a tad there on that last play. I know what she was. Her intent was, you know, all good, but unfortunately. Excuse me, once again, sorry. Um, unfortunately, just overplaying, so to speak. So, you know, but again, it's just going to show they're not giving, they're not giving up without a fight. But right now, this margin is just too much to um, to bear. Total get denture care clinics as Ronnie tries to uh, just get the air back into his lungs <laughs> after four four different things went down five different pipes. <laughs> Something like that, JP, yes. 1.35 remaining third term. It'll be interesting to see just how this one continues to unfold. I don't think it's a matter of who wins. It's a matter of by how much. And right now, it's not looking good. Sweaty Betty's going to run a stack out of yep. out of the inbound here. Spread to all areas of the floor, and that'll be Schultz inside and scores. Yeah, really good, good really good play and well designed there. But Dan, you said, what a good old-fashioned stack play. And uh, they go to Schultz on that, and Schultz does a great job of finishing at the rim. Oh, Vanderkamp just saying hello to Lauren Mills there with the elbows. Wanting a pin down there. Too easy a call there by Bartlett. Kick oh. out Jack Bone. And <laughs> I don't know if they were trying to throw it over the Geordie or Manor over there or the uh, upper dude. Oh, I'm not too sure. We passed it to the second of one option. Yes. Ball out of bounds. 32 points the margin. Sweaty Betty's dominant in this one. Defense by Abby Brown trying to force it left. Weary of that screen. That's a good transition on the defense there. Schultz wants to give and go to McCaffrey. Does. Wanted a screen. There's just way too much traffic for that one to execute effectively. Just needed some more spacing on it. Wind interrupting you from going to bed, Ronald. Jeez. This is what happens when you have a day off. Oh, <laughs> woe is me. Aaron for three. Drop. Thank you. Jeez. <laughs> Trying to get himself out of trouble there. 71 <laughs> 36. This is not good. Margin is 35 and they've scored 36. Ladies and gentlemen, you, you do the math. Wiggins. Final 37 seconds of this quarter. Because Vanderkamp wants to give and go. Needs a pass option. Bartlett at the top again. Was always going to want to use a screen. Double option there, in fact. 
Brown pulls up from three, gets that one to go. Nice shot, Abby Brown. Yeah, good shot there by by Abs, and you know, keep keep just keep plugging away here. Just keep playing your normal style game. Don't need to do anything uh, out of the ordinary. Just keep keep plugging away. From the crowd looking to this part here as the uh, yeah. quarter winds down. Final 15 seconds here. Shot clock in play by about half a second here. Not by much. Not by much at all. As inside goes Aaron. Pfizer just couldn't tackle that one down. Rebound by Schiltz. Ball over the top. Bartlett threading the needle. Vanderkamp. Oh, I'm not sure whether she would have got that off in time to begin with. But yeah, the family and the family are not happy with that one. <laughs> couldn't, get, couldn't get it out of hands. Hamish mm -hmm. is not being held responsible for the grin no. that he's just given us. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable stuff. 39-71, right? No, yeah, yeah, the old, yeah, the old man wouldn't be happy with that either. 32, yeah, yeah, 32 yeah. points, the difference. <laughs> and we've got 10 minutes to go until this one's all over, essentially, Ronnie. I don't, don't mean to put it really blank there, but... That's the start of the game. Yeah, it is, unfortunately. And, I mean, we, we call it as we see, JB, and it's just, yeah, not, not, an, not, an, ideal, not an ideal situation. I mean, under, understandably, Utah's very undermanned, out with, out with key personnel, always going to be tough. And, yeah, the Sweaty Bettys with Ellie Collins, Lauren Mills, Coco Aaron and Co, just having a field day out there. And, you know, right. And, of course, Kendra Beiser, probably, you know, RMBP of the game. Um, for this one, just because she's done all the right, all the right things team-wise, and been a real great team player. So, good, good start, uh, good work by her. So, uh, now, uh, just, just, just quickly, I don't know, we, I don't think we went through the uh, the script, the script. What I don't think the, uh, oh, we did go through the script at the start. The we'll, dental clear. Clinic. Yeah, we'll do one. That was you want to do a full one, do you? Uh, I was reading the refined one. Sam said to avoid yeah, the tongue twister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 that's what I want to read. You want to do the full one? Yeah, no, 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 no the one, the refined one. Okay, you want to read the refined one, do you? Yes, please. Okay, yeah, you yeah, get a chance at the easier one. Yeah. Right, okay, go yeah, for it, Ronnie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ladies well, and gentlemen, <laughs> the dulcet tones and advertisement of Ronald Riggs. Round three of the Women's T Tassie Summer Slam is proudly sponsored by to Total Denture Care Clinics. Their family-owned clinics in Kingston, Sorrell and Newtown offer personalised denture solutions to keep your smile shining. Thank you to Andrew and Tristy Ferguson and the team at Total Denture Clare. We're about to begin the fourth quarter here where the Sweaty Bettys are in control by a, by about 10 hundred yards. Jesus. You were doing so well too. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Thank you to Tristy and Andrew who yes. totally understand the plight of a broadcaster. Abby Absolutely. Brown has consistently had the hot hand all game. Prove me wrong, Abby. Prove me wrong. Well, <laughs> cuts it to 29. Absolutely. Oh, jeez. Piper's what? just trying to get to a seat. That'll be a blocking foul yeah, on Jack up rock. here in the bar. Yeah. 71-42. Cuts geez, the margin to 29. This game's playing in the bar area. Good, good Lord. Out the bound here. Margin at 27. Oh, Amy Williams. Now, this is good. Now, I like this from you, Taz. They're just working their way back, chipping away. Good couple of plays so far. This is good. Nice energy from Team Utaz. Neve Ball. In with Lily Demany, Bridie McCaffrey, Ellie Collins on the drive there was fouled and is Lauren Mills. Of course, Ronnie, if you want to keep up with everything to yes. do with the Summer League and Tassie Summer Slam, you can head on over to their Instagram page, <laughs> Tassie Summer Slam. They have been a sensational yeah, they piece have been. there so far through. On it's, it's, social media, of it's course. It's been good. Like, you know, it's, um, you know, we're seeing their content. You know, sometimes we're kind of republishing their content as well too, JB. And, you know, we're getting getting reshouted back for it as well. So it's, uh, and it's fantastic to see. Of course, the mission there is to provide a platform for all former, current and prospective NBL1 players to compete and grow during the spring and summer season. They're here for growing basketball community connections, purposeful off-season engagement, igniting player and community excitement. Enhancing player recognition, empowering exposure for rising talent, progressing university basketball, retaining positive role models and players, further referee development and leveraging social media opportunities for Tasmanian basketball community connections and experience. As good on Jack not helping his sister transfer the chairs. The, the chair's just about to go in a minute, Jay. But as Piper's doing her best, we can commend <laughs> her there. As Jay, Jack's wondering what the oh, hell is going on. Oh, a free throw's gone down. A free throw's Utah's gone made down. a free throw. And Unbelievable more, and stuff. And chairs nearly about to fly here. As Jack looks and Hamish finally do the gentlemanly thing. Yes. Yeah, oh, about one or two. It was too good to be true. <laughs> good help there for the gentleman there. And yes. they're going to make her stack them as well. Good help. I, I see what Piper's doing. Oh, hello. We've got players on the floor. Collins oh. with three. Nails it. 
And just when you think they've got the edge, they string it back out, Ronnie. Yeah, it, it, and that's been, and that's probably been the, the the case of the game so far, JB. Utah's make a small run, and all of a sudden, you know, the sweaty biddies just come right back at you with a response. Good work there by Piper. Got the last stack on. There we go. Full points there. 76-45. Yes, 76-45. Well, Collins she doesn't steal. make it a turnbuckle. Steel takeaway would drop the elbow on a brother. That'd be funny. <laughs> All goes out of bounds. I would not be. I don't condone that, ladies no, and gentlemen. No, no, we don't. Uh, no, substitutions no, no. into just the game. I've just thrown in a WWE reference. Pierre Rhodes <laughs> in for Amy Wiggins. As we look to get this one slowly through, Ronnie. Eight yes. or so minutes left in the fourth term of our second game. Thank you for tuning in. And our third day straight, JB. Third day straight. Yes, well, we what did we have last weekend? We had two straight, and then we had three straight. Yep. And then we're not back on, you and I certainly aren't back on air, and it's a nice one there by no, Barber. Not until next week, Shabo. You and I be on air next week, but Jacob will be running the ship on Friday. Oh, yes, I can't wait to tune in. <laughs> Jacob will be running the ship, of course, there with a few more cohort from Bayview, so it'll be great to have them involved in our coverage and broadcast, expanding the horizons of the next generation of broadcasters, Ronnie. Absolutely. Like I say, we're training Jacob up, and uh, we'll, keep it, we'll keep working with him, JB. He's, he's got the set up. This man got set up down, Pat. Yeah, he goes all right. Now it's just uh, when we get him on the mic. I'm sure that, he'll, that's our next part. Sure, he'll have that fine. <laughs> as Vanderkamp just uh, here going there to the uh, oesophagus. And I thought I thought that uh, Brown may have gone to shoot that, but that's mm. nice ball movement, Utahs. Second opportunity, Mills just reaching too far there. Bartlett will go to the line for two. 7.15 remaining in the fourth for total. Dench Clare Clinics. Round three of the Tasmanian Summer League. Tassie Summer Slam here on Chargers TV. Yes, Bartlett back at the line for two. Not, a, not, not the best of nights at the free throw line, but she's done a good job of trying to get there as well too. And, you know, as we, as we know, Leah, always aggressive and always working her way through. And, um, uh, yeah, she's, uh, she's been trying her best tonight. She really, she really has, JB. Oh, she rattles has. around. And yeah, just uh, just not one. It's just one of those nights where those free throws are just not going down for her. I'd be very interested as Collins goes up, goes to the line for two. I'd be very interested to see what the free throw numbers are like if we can get those at some point. Yeah, subs I, in her ear and advisor. I don't know if the boys have got direct contact to us, JB. So that's all right. We'll yeah, get them at some point. Yeah, we might get them during the week, but um. Yeah, um, yeah, we're missing the boys tonight, of course. Uh, usually they're up here working the stats and um, and whatnot, but I'm glad they're still doing it from home remotely. That, that's always a good thing. If you can do it remotely and be tuning in, that's um, that's fantastic. So so that, so good on good on them uh, as well too. And we don't and we only had um, Richard Mitchell was on the uh, on the on the photo cameras tonight as well too. JB, a um, good friend Matt, he's uh, not with us tonight. From MJB Photography. Yes, good to see everyone still getting away to chip in as points continue to pile up here for the Sweaty Bettys. 80 points on the board. They could crack the ton, JB, if we're no, not careful. No, I don't think that. 20 points in seven minutes is going to be tough. Although. <laughs> yeah, all <laughs> I mean, if they knock down a couple of threes here, look out. Oh. Yeah, I think it's going to be a matter of how much they want to continue to run the court. Well, well geez. <laughs> They're not... And that should be another two. Okay. If you're James Murray, do you time out here just to stem the bleed? Yeah, you, yeah, do. you do. You have to. you got to. Yep. Jeez, margin is at 37 points. 6.32 remaining. I didn't think they'd score the ton, but they're only 16 points away. Yeah, I don't think they're, I don't think they're going to um, back off, Joe. But I think they're just going to go for it here. You would have to think so. Of course, shout out to Den Total Denture Care Clinics and, of course, the crew at Tassie Summer Slam getting this off the ground. Charges TV. Getting through things, Ronald. Yeah. Uh, yes, one of my mates has just sent me... Who's like, in? Uh, No, no, no. He's watching the AFL draft at the moment, Jose. Yes, now there have been a few Tasmanians drafted uh, in the uh, national draft so far. So congratulations yes. to all of them. I can just see Shoemaker's um, name there. I haven't seen... And then there's a few others. Riley Sanders is probably my kind of key watch here because he's a former... Basketball player for Launceston, JB, and then he made the switch to footy. Of course. Let's see who we have so far. Who's yeah, we'll uh, just reply. reply. We'll just ask if, if Cowden are getting good picks. Looking at if who's getting good picks? Well, we'll just you see. mentioned Sanders, Ronnie. He went yeah. number six to the Doggies. Oh. Colby McKercher went number two to North Melbourne. And number 17, James Leake. Well done to all Tasmanians yes, no, well in the AFL draft lads. so far. No, good to good to see good to see him and um, 
Yeah, no, that's, that's uh, great news, JB. I know we probably shouldn't mention footy on the air, but... <laughs> okay. no, you know what, we've got oh. good young Tasmanian athletes doing Abs- their bit on a national stage. Absolutely. If we can't recognise that, then... There's something wrong I'll with stand, us, I'll stand on my head and whistle in the middle of the street with some assistance of someone holding my legs. 84-47. Wiggins. And easy turnover there. We're on a break again as Collins on the layup gets that to go. Someone's heard the term ton. They want to rack up the century. Speaking of tons, Travis Head, you beautiful human. Thank you, last <laughs> night. Yes. I told you I wasn't going to talk about how Indi- India doctored the pitch when <laughs> undefeated. Had 92,000 people in the uh, stadium and choked a final. He played a good innings, JB. Abby Brown has shot really well in the second half and overall probably been the best player so far for uh, Utah's as the half ton comes up. 86.50. Ronnie with a selfie game, rivaling yeah. out of the Kardashians. Yeah, just, just, just quickly replying to Charlie Banks. Shout out to you, my friend. Damn, man, you're trying to get that to go. Second opportunity here. They can get that to go. As Visor down low on the rebound, rips it away. 14 points to the ton. Five and a half minutes to go. Still a small crowd in here from Monday night. Vanderkamp yeah. looking... A little despondent on the bench there. I'd say her night's almost done. Yeah, I, I reckon so, Jober. Collins turning, fading, scoring, death, taxes. Ellie Collins. 88. <laughs> 12 to go. Jesus. <laughs> they scored eight points in a minute of, of game time, might I add. There. Yeah. Bartlett outside threat. Wanting to give and go there. Goes to Rhodes and she just loses that straight out of bounds. Not a pretty night for you, Taz, unfortunately, Ronnie. No, no, certainly not, JB. And you know, I think they'll be licking their wounds and uh, coming back next week with a bit more motivation. Yeah, we'll see how that one goes. Hoping to get some personnel back, as we mentioned. Erin's just going down the lane. She's giving it out to Collins. Make it 91 points. Nine, oh, boy. Nine to go, JB. Oh, boy. <laughs> Jeez. Not a matter of if they crack the ton, it's when they crack, crack the ton. ton. Right now, they're on target within probably the next two minutes. Yeah, Luff Balloons, hopefully. Nice give and go there by Shaq over to Rhodes. Fired early, couldn't get that to go. Taken away baseline there, Erin. Visor running hard to the rim as well, not rewarded. Erin on the drive now. Will she be eventually on the drive? She won't. Visor battling. As Brown wants to go herself, she has lots of support. Goes down, threads the needle. Nice ball movement there, Utah's Deserved baskets, get it. Yeah, nice nice job there. Good running by Leah Bartlett to get herself in that position and... Uh, good to see they've um, oh, they have got over the half ton, which is good. So as called a minute ago. Yes. Sorry, Joe. It's okay. Collins pull up for three. Stop it. <laughs> they'll, they'll get training there. run right now. Forty-two points the margin. Utah's just couldn't use the screen. Visor wanting to stay in front, doing her best as well. Wiggins ball fake. Inside is nice fake out on the defence there by Bartlett. Rose now caught in the short corner. Gets Visor in the air. That'll be on the floor. No basket. Yeah. We're tuning into the... Sorry, Joe. Just, about, uh, just on the text line again. 8675309. How about Chargers Summer League? Tassie Summer Slam here on Chargers TV. Brought to you by Total Denture Care Clinics for the evening. Substitutions as ball goes for spell with Aaron and Mills. I have no idea what you're talking about. Thank you, Piper, from the umpire's chair. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's lawn chair in the greater <laughs> Warrain area has say, been glove. stolen, so Piper can sit on it oh. as Visor fouled hard. She'll go to the line, and she's earned her, um, abs- earned abs- her stripes tonight and abs- played really well. Absolutely, JB. She's had a great game so far, and I feel like she's done a terrific job on all aspects. And uh, good to see she's at the free throw line right now to um, try and knock down two free throws. Get the first to go. Just a little bit short on that one. Just needs and probably needs to watch the line as Carl Browning mentions that one to her. Oh, watch the line, but didn't watch the front of the hoop. No, as the ball on, disappeared past the front of it. No, not on that occasion, JB. So, oh dear. But still, good, good on, good on Kendra for again attacking the rim, you know, finding a way to the line. She'll knock down those free throws, um, given good, given good time there. So, yeah, see what Utah's can bring out in this in this part of the uh, quarter here. Oh, sorry, 
as Brown misses that three is I get my words all muddled. <laughs> not for the first, certainly not for the last. No, just more comprehensible than previous attempts. Yes, thank you, JB. <laughs> As Collins <laughs> rewards, went to reward Visor just late there on the pass as Demanyi goes to step through. And that's just nice there by Bridie. Oh, no, what was that? The exchange rate, not too friendly. Collins no. saves Visor. Now gets it at midcourt, has passing options. There goes go. herself and scores with the that, left. That's the one. That's the one from Kendra we needed. That's a nice work yeah, there. Yeah, Geordie Hargrave imitating as well. Thought Jeez, that was a nice move. There you go. Look out. 96.52. Thread the needle there. Collins just with a hand in the passing lane. Takes that away. Hasn't got out of second gear here in the fourth quarter. As easy as you like. Turning, fading. Oh, one of the jump down again was deflected. Short corner score. Drop. No. Yet yeah, that actually looked like on the monitor here it went through, Ronnie. Obviously not. <laughs> no, no. I can tell you live in venue that wasn't the case. And well, Urbans. I tell you what, McCaffrey's unlucky because she's jumped in the air, avoided contact, and the only reason wasn't given the ball was because she landed out of bounds as Collins goes out with about a century of points. Let's see, Brown. Oh, no, that was Bone. Vandercamp. See how this one continues to play out. Oh, two, Rhodes. 2.27 as Pia Rhodes hasn't oh. quite had the same spark Back as she on. had early in the first quarter. 96.52. We could see a scoreboard adjustment here. Absolutely. McCaffrey. Oh, oh Bizer again. Bizer again. Lovely work. The roll. Lovely 98 work. 98 points. Kindred is working away nicely. Yeah, she's putting a really good effort here. And I don't know necessarily if she's going to be in the top four scorers of the round or her overall stat line will reflect it, but genuinely being one of the three best players in this game for me, Ronnie. Yeah, definitely. I, I'm certainly with you on that one, Joe. Collins, JB. her, and probably Abby Brown if we're going to pick a, a member of the Utah's team. For the century. Drop. No. Well, it did. It just didn't go through the net. The ball goes up. It must come down. As Visor trying to play solid defense there. Really holds up Wiggins. Vandercamp give and go. Rhodes wants to go to the score as well. Thread over the top, leading pass to Vanderkamp. Errant pass there, just discombobulated offensively for, mm. you'd have to say, most of this game, unfortunately, for Utah's running. Yeah, here. definitely, definitely, JB. It's just, it's, just, it's just lost its way since the second half, really, unfortunately. Yes, or since like the end of the first half. Yeah. Drive oh. for the century, no good. Oh, Visor for the ton, fouled. Now, as long as she keeps her feet behind the line. And she's a chance. Yep, absolutely. 114 remaining, 98.52. Tell you what, not only making the, the ton, Ronnie, but can they win by half a ton? That's a good question. Visor. Yes. Angles in, 99 left balloons. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is like, this is like being at the cricket, JB. Oh, yes, Ronnie, well, here this we is go. exactly what it's like <laughs> being at the cricket. Hey! There were 92,000 people... Last night, 538 or whatever it is, and we're at about 92,530 <laughs> short. <laughs> yes, the ton Jake. comes up the sweaty Betty. The ton is up. Sensational. 48 the difference here as Rhodes backs in unconventionally. Final minute of this game. And the sweaty Betty's showing absolutely no mercy as they continue to want to tear this one up. Schultz, McCaffrey, oh. Visa. That was just an errant pass. Forty-seven point two remaining, and you would think both sides just want to get through a set here and get this game over and done with. If they could start, oh no, old oh, Robin did start a clock. Yep. Um, yes, hopefully so. Do you call him old? No, 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 no. I said if Robin could start the clock. I thought you said old. No, Robin. no, 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 no. Oh, I don't know, Rob. I'd be <laughs> chatting to him. He's on to get onto his case again, mate. As Abby Shoes. Brown continues to knock down the shots, shining light in a very dark tunnel, unfortunately for you, Taz, tonight. Yes. The light is at the end of it, and it's about thirty seconds away. Dump down. Visor again. Could she handle it? Was oh, She probably copped a beating there. Didn't get rid of it. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I that was probably a foul yeah, or two oh, there. I that thought so. I think the, oh, the boys are thinking it's foul. I'm not sure what Piper... Piper's saying te now, Piper's I saying know, technical. I know, I know, idea. I saw the technical signal, but that's not what we're here I don't, for. I don't understand the slang of the youth today, Rob. Yes, no, nor do, nor do I. I, I oh, TikTok. Oh. Thank you, Hamish. That explains it. The youth of today. today. Yes. I don't even... Geez. But you, you explain to me how Hamish can just sleep anywhere, even in a car, yesterday. 
<laughs> as well too. And this is a kid that used to break his arm looking at a yes, large stairwell oh, no. though. <laughs> Brown couldn't get that to go. Three seconds left on the clock. They will dribble this one out. Final scores, an absolute rort in this game here. 100 to 55. Sweaty Betty's by 45. They only just cracked the ton, Ronnie. And they leave Utahs in their dust proverbially. A one-sided affair from the outset. Yeah, just all one-way traffic. I think once that margin blew out in that first quarter, just, uh, you know, Utahs had no way of finding their way back. And it was just one-way traffic. And, you know, credit to uh, the Sweaty Betty's. They played out hard. You know, they were doing everything right on both ends of the floor. And Utah's unfortunately, just undermanned and had no answer. So hopefully some key personnel will come back in, in next week. And, um, you know, Utah's will uh, live to fight another day. And we will see how that one plays out in our next round. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to Chargers TV and our coverage of the Tassie Summer of our Summer League, the Tassie Summer Slam for 2023. Round three of women's action in the books as Swisher got the win, as did the Sweaty Betties. On behalf of Ronnie Riggs and Jacob Watt, a massive effort by both gentlemen once again. I'm Justin Bryan. You can hear from Jacob and the crew yes. on Friday night. There we go. As Ronnie and JB ourselves here, I am referring to me in the third person. Justin won't be happy with that. We will be on hiatus, but the team will have your rolling coverage of men's action. Tune in Friday night for what's set to be a bumper night of action. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, it's bye for now.